Shout out to Coppish. Shout out to Coppish, guys. All the good work the up. two legends, Emil Heskey, Howard, Howard Gell. Can't get much better than that, guys. Yeah. You know what to do now. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm with legends, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Top and it's like that. Mate, you need blonde Torres, man. You need blonde yeah, yeah, yeah. Torres. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fernando. Yeah, Fernando's quality, man, though. He's quality. Great finisher. Great pace. Scary. Yeah, he was one of the greats, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marnham's playing for both sides in this game, ain't he? Aye, what a player he was. Yeah, that ain't a bad eye at team either, by the way. <laughs> I was just going to say, it's, it, I wish... Um... They could have got like Clarence and and Patrick Cliver to come over as well, but yeah. you can't get all of them to come along, can you? No, no, Ronald. No, no, you could have got them all for real. Cliver was one of them. I want to see Clarence. Clarence can still kick <laughs> ball. <laughs> I'm you can. You, like, you can still kick ball. Mm. I've got, I've got a secret to tell people. I, I was never that. I never thought Patrick Clivert was all that. Ooh. Jamie, I think you're. I think you got wind up, man. <laughs> I, I, I didn't rate. I didn't. I didn't rate Patrick Clivert as much as many. What well, Ajax and great. Barcelona, Jamie? No, I don't think he's that great, man. <laughs> No, I'm not a Clive fan. Oh, that's mad still. Alan Shearer over Cliver. There you go. Oh, no, I, I, I would agree with that. I'd agree with that. I'll cut my sight. Even, um, even Cal is like still fit and looks like he could still do it. Don't cut that. Don't look like the same person now, though, does he? Now, well, now he with his streaky like hair. Yeah, he looks yeah. weird now. I think he's one of those people who kind of looked old when they were young, but now he is old. He looks better. Like Pula. Mm. <laughs> Pula without the beard would look weird. Pula without the beard. 2007 Pula looked weird. But once he Charlie Alonso over that beard looks weird. Nah, but he still had that baby face then, so he's, he he get away with it. Mm. Pirlo did not have a baby face; he was just he looked old. No, Pirlo was born at thirty. Yeah, <laughs> I totally agree. He was born at thirty, mate. The thing with that, shabby has got that baby face, so he can get away with it. Oh, the thing is, everyone that, knows when you get old. It's, it's your ability never goes um with the age mm. all it is is your body can't do it regularly anymore that's that's always what the problem is yeah i, I can i can stevie be working in saudi and have no tan <laughs> i'm not gonna lie jamie with that type of temperature i he probably just puts on blot and stays out the sun <laughs> or any shade that you see is just gonna go and just gonna <laughs> run into it you gotta remember, you see, in like the Middle East, yeah, you don't get that. Like, oh, I'm on holiday in that? Spain, twenty degrees. You get like forty-five degrees. I can cook an egg on the ground, like. Yeah. You guys kicked off. Yeah, I'm on twenty-three uh, seconds yeah. right now. Yeah. Uh, what? Well, oh, do you know? I just realised that I, neither of us, are, none of us, are going to be able to pause, are we? So I hope we're all on the same level. Well, I'm watching off YouTube. Is everyone else watching off? I watch on YouTube as well. Yeah. I didn't even know it was on YouTube. I'm actually yeah, watching it on Gold. Channel. Okay, I'm on 47, 48, 49. Oh, I'm on yeah, 55. I'm on I'm on. Let's stop at w one minute. I'll stop at one minute. Okay, I am um, 58, minute. 59, one minute, one minute, yeah. one. I'm at two, one minute two, now. Three, one minute go. Four, yeah. Go, 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 go. Seven, we're in, we're in. eight, nine. Ah, oh, wicked. If I if my one crashes out, then I'll just go and um uh, and go onto the YouTube. I didn't realize it was on YouTube. I'm watching it on the go. I started pretty well. Like, ball. I'm moving the ball back. Oh, it's on it's on LSC, LSC TV Go, isn't it? Yeah, I'm watching it off go. Yeah, it's yeah. on everything today. Yeah, it's on everything. 
Aurelio still looks good for his age. Come on, Great get Hold on. Oh, oh, my days. They're winning already. Oh, 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 oh. Ball in, ball in. One nil. Oh, my days. We're already losing. Um, what is that? They're defending like actual what? Liverpool. That they're defending like actual bit. Liverpool. <laughs> Do you reckon Klopp's been training them high line, high line in their 40s? Do you reckon that's what mm -hmm. <laughs> The guy who just scored is 37. Line. That means he's not even actually old enough. That like He's young enough that he could still actually be playing professional football. Yeah. Come on, deck man. Look at this defending. Look at that. Look at that defending, man. That's a great pass, though. It is a good pass. It's a good ball. <clears throat> that's it, defending. That's it, defending. What the hell, man? Well, go on, Dan. Go on, Dan. Go on, Babble, son. <laughs> yeah, I got <clears throat> I got it's great. Apologies, guys, with the graphic. Um, having a little bit of technical difficulties in the background, but we'll try and get that fixed. <coughs> the gremlins are back. The gremlins are back. Ah, oh, come on, Spearman, man. You were rubbish when we, you were young and you're still rubbish when you're old. <laughs> wow, Drifty, man. Oh, Jay Spearman. That was so... You love Jay Spearman. Look, I rate the man for being <laughs> a professional. I rate anyone for making it to that level, but come on, man. No, I can't. I can't. <laughs> Whenever I see Torres, I'm like, oh. nah, you're just too built now. I remember you as a as the skinny as the skinny oh, guy. That? Now you're just built. He oh, still looks weird. like he's kind of quick though. Yeah, he looks a bit heavy, though, like, don't he? He does look a bit heavy. Hey, Alex, now on the break. It's amazing that we've been That's able to terrible. pack out the stadium as well. I don't oh, think anyone Sven does legendary games like Liverpool. Isn't it? Yeah. No, they don't. The radio looks like he's. I think we're the only ones who do it every year, Jay. Oh my day! Yeah, we we treat we treat our legends like le legends. Daniel we Adler. do. I mean, the fact we've even let Torres back. Let's let's be honest. Torres shouldn't even really be back if we're being completely honest. <laughs> we let him in the room. We let <laughs> now, why have we let Torres we back? The door. We are the Marco definition of never played a, a, a legend. I, uh, Marco I never played so. a legend game. I don't think he has, you know. He, do you know what? Do you know what the scary thing is, though? Yeah. As much of a Judas as oh, Torres know. was, Torres was one of my first ever Liverpool loves, and I truly do believe he's oh, the first God. time in football since that <laughs> my heart was broken. Oh, I was a pissy little kid and when he left. I I I couldn't believe what he did to us. I I could not believe what he did to us. Chelsea. It, it was like your it was like your girlfriend sleeping with your brother. That's what it felt like. Yeah. Uh, Ryan <laughs> Giggs would know all about that, man. Yeah, it really yeah. was. Yeah. And then do you know what? Five years later finding out your dad as well. Oh Jesus! Damn, <laughs> Drew, you just went. <laughs> Hello. That's a good little point. Oh, lucky. Rushing to the box, headed back, and then quite, quite get on the end of it. Fernando looking <laughs> hench. Yeah, no. He well, Fabio Aurelio, guys, Fabio Aurelio was such a good footballer. If injuries didn't blight his career, man. Yeah, he was, he was so technically. Technical gift of a footballer. Yeah, man. He's the type of left back that in today's game would be lauded after. Be one of the best oh, in yeah. the world. Oh, is that spearing again? Giving it away for fun. I can't, I can't see. To be honest with you, I know it's only a Legends game, but I still don't want to lose this. No, no, of course. I at the technically better side at the moment. 
It's he funny because John Barnes. Um, well, well done, Spearing. <clears throat> John Barnes Spirit during the press it. conference Spirit was saying um, the thing about the Legends game is that it's a bit difficult is all the players from around the world normally take really good care of themselves after they um, retire, whereas English people usually let themselves go. And he's probably got a point to be fair. Oh, what a run. Oh, it's too easy. Go on, Ryan. Let Bob and I one of those. One of those babble shots. <coughs> what minute are you guys on? Um, one seven I minutes twenty seconds. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, one back. As your one, as your one stopped. Yeah, it's no, moved forward. Actually, I'm on seven thirty-seven. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you just it. one second. Okay. It's weird, ain't it? All watching on YouTube, but all got different times. That's <laughs> just mad. I know. Yeah, that's streaming for you. Gerard Manon. <clears throat> See, we're keeping it simple. Come on, Agar. <clears throat> Bubble. Radio puts in the one and then crosses. It's teasing. Well in. Good, Jay. Good, Jay. Ah, oh, come on, Torres, man. You're looking like Chelsea Torres, Bridget. <laughs> he is. Oh, God, he's looking like, like Chelsea. <laughs> he's never got it out of his system. <laughs> Max, you, I don't think it's possible to, hero, really. Right? Yeah, Maxi's Maxi's a G. I was I was well excited when we signed him. Kenny got Kenny got Kenny got him playing though. We played good under Kenny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. his Liverpool career downplayed. I think he had a good Liverpool career for me personally. Scored back to back hat tricks, did he? didn't he? Yeah, back to back hat tricks, wasn't it? The Fulham game, wasn't it? Fulham, I remember. <laughs> I'm surprised he didn't come on for the, the FA Cup final in 2012. They didn't come on sooner because he was mm. in good form then. Who was that in that same area? Who was that crap midfielder we had who was tattooed? Morellas. Yeah. Now, Morellas weren't that bad. I, I thought Morellas was good, to be honest. He always used to kind of get a goal against Chelsea, I remember, all the time. <laughs> he, he, you know, he was only with Liverpool for a year, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh, man, yeah, I remember feeling like he was there for longer, but and then he went Chelsea as well. A little, what what was with Liverpool players wanting to go Chelsea? Man? Rats, in it. Yeah. Has any player ever left Liverpool in recent times and has success apart from Suarez and has been successful? Suso, arguably. Javi Alonso. Alonso and Suarez, would you say? Mascherano. Mascherano. <laughs> yeah. Mascherano. Uh, Suarez, Alonso. Um, Arbolo was um, successful. Arbolo, yeah. Yeah, I forget about Arbolo, to be truthful. Such a quiet player. Yeah, he was player, quality, Arbolo. Yeah, he's um, not quality, right, mate. There have been quite a few. I've been quite a few. Yeah. Nah, yeah, not really. I think quite it. I wouldn't put Emery no, Chan I'll, in that category, though. I'll say Chan still had a good career, though. He didn't flop. <clears throat> em Emery Chan nah, he didn't play for us now. Dude. Still here. Well, it'd be great for us right now. Yeah. Him playing in that in that six, mobile, good technically, yeah. decent passer. I like him. I like Emery Chan. Do you know what? I don't even want to take liberties out of spirit because bless him, he tries hard. But it's mad, no, like, he's one of those players that, like, I see him wearing the Predators and I'm like, bro, you know any certain man is supposed to put them on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, those, man, those boots are sacred. Yeah, yeah, I, like, yeah I think you should have Spearing, that's basically yeah, should... yeah, Jay Spearing should have high-tech. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Jay Spearing should have high-tech Original umbro. Do you remember the high-tech boot? Do you remember the high tech? Yeah, yeah. When yeah, your mum had yeah, no money. And you got 
there are five, there are five in the market. <laughs> yes, Beijing, what's happening? Welcome yeah, to the party, brother. A big I'm up, Beijing. Big up, fellas. <clears throat> We're down one nil already, huh? Yeah, they scored yeah. after one minute, bro. Good goal, though. Who scored it? Um, I can't remember his name. He, I don't even know how much. He <laughs> a lot of their players aren't actually like old school legends. They're like players who've recently so just retired. <clears throat> yeah, they're not a proper like legends. Like they're no longer. Mm. I mean, he's only thirty-seven. The guy who scored, he could still technically be playing. No, that's not fair. You got to be forty and over if you go playing these games. <laughs> Surely. Yeah. Did you not hear about there might be an over forties World Cup? Yeah, yeah I heard about that. That well, could Mark, be fun. World, World Cup, basically. That yeah. could be fun. I'm not even gonna lie. That could actually be fun. Like, a lot of football, like, maybe it's the only way. Chris... Maybe it's the only way Cristiano Ronaldo wins a World Cup. Oh, yeah. <laughs> to be fair, Jamie, I still don't even think he would win that for that World Cup. Even, even. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna lie. He, um, he'd have to call. I think Brazil would would probably be the best team for over 40s. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's supposed to happen this summer. That's if I ain't all partying. Oh, can they you imagine? You know what I think. I reckon Holland would probably do well in that because the Dutch keep themselves in shape. Yeah, mm. Holland would. I think Brazil would be a definite favourite. France will be a show too. Think? We'll have a good team. What about Italy? They keep themselves in shape. What about what about Spain? Because a lot of the legends of Spain are all going to be quite young. That's a shout, Rams, for sure, because you still have Iniesta. All those cats will still be able to play for Spain. Yeah, yeah that's true, actually. Yeah. <coughs> like the older, older players, like maybe even Luis but, Enrique can still kick about. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like like Nadal and Herrero, Herrero and all yeah. them, man. Their defense would be pretty crazy because Puyol will play and you'd, you probably still have Biscuits and all those guys. PK still, as well. PK, PK will be there because yeah. he's retired now. Yeah. Is Iniesta actually one, 40? Yeah, he's 40. Yeah, he's, he's 40. still playing, man. He's still, he's still playing. playing, yeah. Yeah. At one point in time, they were talking about him joining um, Inter Miami with Messi, Suarez, and the, and the Barcelona crew. Oh, getting a, oh, cool, right. getting a band back. Cool, yeah. Babel. Oh. Hey, Babel can still do it, you know. Yeah. Only, he's still playing Babel, isn't he? Oh, is he? I didn't even know that. Or is he just retired? I'm not sure. Ram, do you know? Nah, he must have retired by now. Look at look look at his change of pace, though. I don't think he's that old, though. Yeah, he is. Well, no, no, he must still be in his thirties, isn't it? Like right, like late thirties. Ah, he just retired. Oh, Oh, big up, Josh. He says he just retired. Judas at the near post. Off the post. Fernando. That was Fernando's peck that hit that ball, not his head. <laughs> <laughs> he's a he's Bad a unit. He's a he's great legend in the back. Mad. Yeah. <laughs> Fucks. Fucks. Oh. <clears throat> Do you know? Oh, well done, Stevie. Go on, Stevie, son. <clears throat> Do you know what? I think the thing that most hurt me about about Torres going to Chelsea, other than the fact that he went to Chelsea, was that he stopped us having the possibility of Suarez and Torres being our front line. Yeah. Can you imagine? And, oh and Torres didn't need to do that much running anymore because Suarez would have done it for no, him. And all the running for him. Yep. That would have been the most lethal combo, man. Oh, Fernando. Oh. Good winning back, Torres. Come on. What, is Stevie just behind Suarez and Torres? Yeah. Ah, oh, can you imagine? <laughs> My day. 
Stevie playing that ten roll. Stevie playing that floating ten roll. And Fernando, and, oh man, we would have won the league that year. <laughs> we 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 would have cooking, man. That was some. That would have been some tier. Oh, although the defense was pretty um, average, I'd say. You don't need it. You yeah, don't need I hate that front line. But Rafa would have been able to find a way to to sort that out, man. I would have been. Oh, Ke- cool. It was Kenny then. It was Kenny then, not Rafa. Oh yeah, no shit, it was, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> That was Kenny's original plan was to have Suarez and Torres together. Yeah. Kenny would have gotten them down. Do you think we forget about do you think do you think we forget about the good job Steve Clark did as an assistant as well in that time? Yeah, he, he, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I, I like Steve Clark? <laughs> I, I think it's underrated, Jamie. I agree with you. I think he good did a good job. Yeah, Steve Clark's a good coach, man. Look what he's doing with Scotland, he's a good coach. That's what I was going to say. I think, even just generally speaking, I think he kind of does get downplayed a bit. <coughs> His career at Chelsea as assistant to Rose, they weren't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <coughs> Belly's going to get you, son. Hmm. Oh, well, another, player with, another player, another player. Jesus Christ. Christ, I can't stand it. <laughs> the mug, absolutely. Uh, I actually, good to like wearing those. I should have been wearing those Bob Marley jerseys. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's very true, Demo Bobby Clark. Go on, Bobby. Do you know what's more surprising to me than anything about Jay Spearing is that he was able to make it in an era where being small was frowned upon? Yeah. Because yeah. nowadays people look at that stuff so much. But <laughs> back in the day, if you were that small, you was always bypassed. Like nobody thought you was, do you know what I mean? You was going to be able to handle it physically. And he is tiny. Look how small he actually is. Yeah. Compare it to like a Stevie or like a, got, even like Fernando Torres. He's just tiny compared to everybody else. What is he, like 5'5 five, five <laughs> or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My wife. Like he he really is small. <coughs> he is. He looks like a little bulldog, doesn't he? That's what he looks like. He looks like a little bulldog. Yeah. Like usually back when in the day. No, go, go, go. I was gonna say, usually when you're tiny, you're meant to be very technically proficient to ca- counteract that. That's lit, yeah. That's what I was literally just gonna say, Ram. Yeah, like like someone like Janino. Yeah, you had to be like you know a, a, a beast technically. <coughs> that's a good ball. Yep, yeah, corner. And he, he, he was. Nice ball, Fernando. Is Fowler playing in this game? I'm not sure. I thought he's in the squad. I think he's in the squad. Does Fearin actually play and train with us? He trains with the youth team, yeah. Yeah, on the, I think he's on the he's 23s, right, Jamie? Mm. Yeah, because he, like, he does look do fit, what? to be fair. He does look right. He's the coach. Oh, he's, he's just there. It's a good. It's a good well just. It's just a good well gesture. You know, it's just a good well gesture. Oh. Oh. It's like make a wish. No, he doesn't get. Paid. It's, just, <laughs> it's like make a wish or Jay Spearing. We let him train. <laughs> does he get? Pla- does he get paid then, or is he just here for vibes? He's a player coach, I believe. I think he's a coach. Yeah, he's a coach. He's working on oh. his coaching badges. <laughs> Van der Vaart looks awful. <laughs> I'm going to really pile, really pile on Van Dyke because he likes piling on Van Dyke. So let's have a go at him today. Let's have a go at his performance. Is it me or I just I don't rate Van, Van der Vaart was technically a very good football, but I just I don't rate him. I really don't. Like you oh, look no, at you number ten, oh. Maradona. Yeah, like you talk about number ten. <laughs> like he wasn't even the number ten of his era for the Netherlands. That wasn't him. No. Like, he was always the guy that was. Yeah, he was always the guy oh, that well, was, was in there. Schneider's shadow. Yeah, oh, good to shoot! Good. Ah, oh. well, crack. He was offside by the look of it. But... Good save. No var, Jamie. No var. Oh, we call it. She called him that by. She called him by his new name now, Van der Fat. That's what we should be calling him. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm going brutal on him. He, 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 he wants to go Van Dyke. I'm here for Van Van der Vaart. 
Fan de fat. Nice shot by Maxi. Right outside the box. Well saved. Oh, that's good. Well done. Crunching tackles. Oh, blatant dive. I don't know, you know, when you get to this stage, I don't think anybody wants to fall over because it's hard to get up. So I, I reckon if they, if they go over, they're proud. Yeah. I know that. If I fall over in the part of my kid, it takes me 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> you, get, you know when you go on your knees first, you're like, shit. And then you get one leg, yeah. the other leg. <laughs> oh, yeah. And then you finally get up. <laughs> Do you know what? It's, so, it's actually hilarious. You see, once you get over 30, you actually realise falling over is really not just falling over. It's actually a big deal. It's life threatening. Oh, oh, it's life -threatening. Oh. <laughs> I'm lucky. So, so what are you saying? So, what are you saying, Drifty? You guys, my age, or we got you got to call us seniors now? <laughs> no, it, it, you don't. It's not seniors, it's but it's like, like yeah, over. falling over is not. It's not just like just bounce up like when you was young. Do you know what I mean? You just yeah. like you got to check you didn't break something, make sure everything's all right. <laughs> Bro, Jamie, I I know you're around the same age as me. I I don't know about you, but when I go yeah. up the stairs, I just hear my knees creaking. All you hear is it sounds like freaking yeah, my hip, wooden my hips, man. Mine's my oh. hips. Mine's my <laughs> hips, man. I get up I get up the stairs and I need a new hip. <clears throat> And getting I mean, off the armchair now, if I have old. to get off the couch, if I have to get off the couch, mate, a cup of coffee, you know you make that noise. <laughs> you can't help it. <laughs> <laughs> it's such an effort. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. You know, I felt Even so bad. Today. This old lady fell over in front of my car on the zebra crossing. Um, like she was just walking and then she just dropped. I don't know if she tripped over a stone or something. I don't, but she just dropped flat on her face right in front of me. Oh, wow. I felt bad for her, man. She looked like she must have been in her 60s. Luckily, there was two people crossing when one lady helped her up. Um, but when she got to the side of the road, you could tell she pretended she was all right, but she weren't all right. That's a bull. No, no, that, that, that would have affected her badly. Mm. Yeah, it was just so weird watching an old person drop. I've, I haven't really seen that in real life. Like an old person in real life just fall over in front of me. What a ball. That's a ball. Still got a great left foot, Fabio Aurelia. Oh. Yep. Torres just sitting I'm on I'm telling you, with modern football, Fabio Aurelia would be a fifty million pound fullback. Easy. Stay right. Easily. How can Stevie be living in Saudi with no tan? I don't get it, man. He's probably always I'm in telling you, he, he stays out that sun. It's, it's, it's on the floor, bro. It's not all over. Nah, Jimmy, he's mate. He's I go to Margate. Steel. Drift. I go to Margate and I burn. You know. So if I went to Saudi Arabia, I'd die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, oh, Margo, looking red as raw. Oh, oh, oh unlucky. Oh 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 oh, 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 someone. I just had about oh, seven. Oh, 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 oh. In the box. He's, He's wearing that SPF 100, Jamie. Looking. That's what Stevie's doing. Yeah, man. Just get a just slap it on, like mayonnaise. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's just straight sun block. Yeah, yeah. I've got red hair, man. I'll burn straight away. It's no joke, man. I don't even put on. Tell you nothing worse than getting a sunburn, and you mate, and then you mate slaps you on your sunburn for no reason. <laughs> oh, <laughs> nah. You know what? Yeah, I remember when I remember when I was in um Tobago, and I had Factor Fifty on. I thought I got I got melanin in me, factor 50, I'll be all right. So I just sat out on the bench for two hours with my headphones on. Man, did I regret it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I put Man, on SPF four, bro. I'm SPF four type of guy. <laughs> I really couldn't believe that factor 50 couldn't help me in that Tobago sun. 
Yeah, Tobago Sun's different. It's just like Barbados, man. It hits you hard. Yeah. But you well, know, it's so beautiful. You just want to sit there and then enjoy it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, look, Skittles is in the chat. <clears throat> big up the league. Uh, Hope you're doing well, mate. Big up yourself, big Lee. Lee. He's a trailer. What? I'll never, I'll <laughs> I never like big, big, right, big up Lee. I never. Who big did up he trade? Listen. I always Lee. remember as Liverpool Lee, man. Yeah. Listen oh, to me. Okay. Lee, Lee is so shameless with it, right? He goes on never a fall and now starts supporting Manchester United. I'm like, yo, you change teams like a chameleon changes colors, bro. I got to start calling you Skittles, man. Got to. Have to. <laughs> oh, Randy Wilde's going off. That's right. His performance. Go on, go off. Well, you know, know. Vitu, I'll save this one for half time, actually, Vitu. Big up yourself, bro. <clears throat> Dead or alive. Here comes Davids. Bayesian, Josh is saying use SPF. Josh, yeah, I hear you, man. I'm from the Caribbean, bro. My skin, my skin's used to that weather. Although I live in Canada now, it still doesn't bug me. <clears throat> yeah, the hottest, the hottest place I've ever been is um, uh, the Dominican Republic on my honeymoon. Been there for a mm. couple of weeks. Mm. Yeah, that was that was just. Yeah, pure heat, man. Hits you as soon as you get off the plane. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They, do they have um? They don't have the um the catwalks, right, Jamie? Down there that goes right out to the plane. You actually walk down the stairs onto the um onto the yeah, tarmac. Right, yeah. so you feel the you heat. The tarmac yeah. straight away. And just, your feet burn from the tarmac that's sizzling in the sun. Your face is yeah. like. And you went through airport security to sign my visa, and I look like I've been there a month. <laughs> like, that's how it is in Barbados yeah, um, too. And I literally just got off the plane. <laughs> Do you know what's crazy, guys? Yeah, I've I've been to a lot of really really hot places in my life. Yeah, but for some reason, I'd never experienced the sand being too hot to walk on until last summer when I went Lanzarote. I had the, I could feel the bottom of my foot blistering. I was just running to get on. It's it's volcanic, I mean, it, that's a canary, yeah, yeah, but yeah, canary, yeah, 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 that's volcanic, man. So, yeah, that's gonna be yeah. different. That's probably why it's so hot. It, yo, You're basically walking was, on a volcano. I, felt, <laughs> I literally felt that the bottom of my foot was blistering. <laughs> I'll tell you what, though, I've been to, oh, Maxi Rodriguez is doing bits. I've been to some hot countries, man, but I'll tell you what, people won't know unless you're from the UK. The British summer is hell. <laughs> it's absolute hell. Because uh, the humidity in the humidity in Britain, Britain, the humidity in this country is ridiculous. You just sweat like yeah. drench in it. It's mad. Yeah, yeah. And because our homes are not built for the sun, they're built to keep the uh, warmth in. You literally just die. <laughs> yeah. Just... Yeah, I hear um, you. The humidity in, in Toronto is crazy, man. Sometimes it gets like yeah. 50. With the humidity, it's crazy. Yeah, Ooh. mental. Okay, no. Yeah, and you know when the fan is just blowing the hot air around the room, so it's not even helping. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The fan just making you hotter. Hmm. The weather appears That's weird, why I man. Kids, I get them waving things at me. Just call me down. That's why I would always prefer cold over heat in that regard, because you can warm up, but you can't cool down. Yeah, you're, you're, unless you just get sprayed with water every five seconds. Hmm. Yeah, but then your skin dries out, bro. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the weather up here is weird, man. I know England get weird. We, we were 18 degrees last week, and we had a snowstorm yesterday. <laughs> Right, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, right far off what we had, it's actually been quite warm this week, mild, and then yesterday it was freezing. It's, it's mad. <clears throat> yeah, there's nothing worse than opening the window and there's just no breeze, so you might as well close it. Yeah, facts. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I can't wait to get all you doing now. Just, all you're doing now is just letting the moths in. Yeah, yeah. I 
And why is it when we have a bit of heat in this country? (laughs) When we have a bit of heat in this country, you see the skinniest men in the world will have to take their tops off to walk the streets. Like, no physique, just your bone walking around like they're men, like this. So I'll put your top man on. You look terrible. (laughs) 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 They tuck it into their trousers, walk in the street. I'm hard, look at me. They weigh seven stone. Yeah. Yeah, Jody, it's true. We the winter this year has been mild in Toronto. It's true. I've never seen it like this before. I can't wait till I can come to um come to Canada for a skiing holiday. Mm. You can come and check me after you do skiing, bro. I don't participate in no winter activities at all, bro. I hate I'm, I'm I'll be so excited to go snowboarding or skiing, bro, man. I know, I know you can hurt yourself badly, but it is what it is, you know? Very, very badly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't want to be tumbling down the hill, that's for sure. No, I don't want to be no Michael Schumacher. Jesus Christ. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> oh, what did he have a skiing accident? Yeah, yeah a skiing accident. Yeah. Yeah. He's still a vegetable right now, man. It's been yeah. years. Oh, is he? Seriously? I didn't even know that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, he can afford to keep everything going, can he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. His family can, yeah. They can afford to keep everything going. Oh, right. I did not know that. You don't know that, Drift. No, I, I didn't hear that. Tell you what, if I was the cleaner in that hospital, I'd just switch it off for a laugh. <laughs> so he's he's in a vegetable state, like yeah. as in like he's yeah. not even like he's not even responsive or anything. No. Yeah. Oh wow! No, I did not know that. Oh, oh come on, go on, go on. We sort of just shoot, man. What are you doing? Shoot him off. What was that? That was Maxi. Oh, my God. It's Cody Gakpo playing, and I didn't know it. What's going on here? Cody Gakpo playing, we didn't know. What's going on? Just shoot the damn ball. I'd have Maxi Rodriguez over Gakpo at the moment. Oh, that's naughty. Yeah, you're not crazy. After hearing that story, maybe we will go on a skiing trip. Yeah, he was in a coma for six, for four weeks. That's right. <laughs> Bloody hell! Yeah. Right, he's when on was the skiing accident now, isn't he? Yeah. When was that skiing accident again? again? Early, Eight early two thousands. It was in early two thousands, like mid two thousands. Yeah. It's been a while. Time ago. Yeah. Hold on. So Michael Schumacher has been like that for like 10, 15 years. Yeah. How the hell have I not heard this? In... The ball. Ooh. Yeah, he fell in his head on a rock, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's just happy. Jerry, was it 2016? I gotta check. I gotta check, man. Let me let me check. I, I know it was it's a lot, it's been it's a while. Still a long man. time ago. It didn't feel a lot. It That's like still a long time ago being intensive care. Yeah. You know, nearly 10 years and he's on life support still. That's mad. His family are not giving up. Yeah, I can I can completely understand why they're not giving up, but I'm not gonna lie, the poor guy, if he's still conscious, that is a horrible existence. His family should put him out of his misery. Yeah, it was 2013. Part, it happened. part of me. Damn. 2013. Yeah, part of me, part of me though would want the inheritance. So I'd be like <laughs> <laughs> Davey, you are on one today, bro. <laughs> <Yo>. <laughs> <laughs> oh my day, Jamie is old one. Come on, Stevie, get a good corner in. Come on. I wonder if any oh, of them have that... gone through any of their minds, like all the family. You know, I'm broke at the moment. You know, <laughs> Michael ain't going. Jamie, no, you will, <laughs> you will, money will change people immediately, bro. It just it twists. Oh, tell me about it. 
changes. If I had money right now, I'd be sitting there like a pimp. I'd be sitting there like a pimp if I had money right now. Fur coat, and gold, just doing a watch along you guys pimping up. <laughs> I'll be the whitest pimp you've ever seen. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Loving life. <laughs> you wouldn't even know if I was, man. I I just operate a carnido. Do you know what's funny? Yeah, I, I I truly believe that money wouldn't change me by much because I've never let money dictate how I feel about life. But I remember one time my friend did say to me, no. "Yo, if money don't change you, you just don't have enough of it." <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same way, Jeff. I'm, I'm I'm very simple. I live a simple life, so I yeah. Even if I had money, I wouldn't. I'd just be the same way. Drive the same car. I don't need no flashinesses. Mm. I don't like attention. That's the truth. Yeah, I, yeah. I would he never buy a convertible. You come in with a perm, Jamie. So you look like a big worm from uh, from so, Friday. Gosh, just put there. Imagine Jamie with a perm. I need to tell everyone right now. When I was a, when I was a kid in the eighties, Jamie had a perm. Jeez. I can get the pictures to prove it as well, like at half time. Yeah. I had a oh, perm wow. in the fifth in the eighties, man. I had a ginger perm. Basically, I had a, no, not a perm. I had a ginger afro. My hair was like mad, like a ginger afro, like this. Because <laughs> my mum didn't cut my hair for my first ten years of life. So oh, I was like wow. a ginger afro, man. Yeah, and she so wondered why I got bullied. Hair color, Jamie. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Is this your natural hair colour now? Yeah, yeah. I, my, my, I, I've got more Albany now, but yeah, I was... I was, I was going to say, it's not even close to ginger though, bro, to be honest. Yeah, it's got... It's, my, where my beard grows at, it goes, it goes red. Every Steve is ginger, any? But I won't go red. That would make sense, you know, you know Drift, because Jamie, Jamie doesn't have a lot of grey, and that's typically the case for persons that are ginger. They don't get grey. It's very, very, yeah. very rare. They do. Yeah, and they always have good quality fit care yeah, as well. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at it. Luxurious. What are you saying? McAllister's got McAllister's got a good set. Luxurious. Go on, pass it. Go on. Yeah. Is Babel gonna yeah, play? I, for I did a DNA test. I did a DNA test. Me and me and McAllister are related, so I want some respect from that. <laughs> 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 Did you guys see the um the assist from Lucho yesterday against um Spain? No, I haven't. No. Yeah, where's that Lucho been? Yeah, where's that no, Lucho been? Going on the outside, oh, man. crossing with his left foot. Yeah, he cooked. He cooked oh, that center back. Cooked him for a beautiful cross. I've been trying to what tell everyone outside, man, it's it's clock. Klopp is making whatever strategic thing he's doing to have Diaz playing the way he's playing. I'm telling you, if if, mm. if a different manager comes in, he'll probably let Diaz off the leash more than Klopp does. Klopp reigns it in, I'm telling you. Yeah. You could be right, Drew. I was in you really could be. You can look at a lot of basketball players. Yeah. <clears throat> You guys believe that Zabi is going to go to Bayern? Well, if I was him, I would go to Bayern. If I was him, guess, we guess should be putting that in the atmosphere, bro. Nah, but I'm, I, I, I'm I, just going to be honest. I don't really. If he Zerbi wins the Bundesliga, then I don't know if Bayern has that appeal because he's already done what he would do with them. If you get what I mean. Yeah. Yeah, hey. yeah, I see where I see where Ram's coming from because if he goes to Bayern and goes there for three years, then he could still come to Liverpool. You know what I mean? But if he comes to Liverpool, oh, and don't do well. Might be difficult. Well, what if we, what if we get Amarim as an example, Bayern, and then he does really well, and then Xavi's times up at Barcelona, but we still got a manager. Like before and you know, it's five six down the line. He's missed his opportunity. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's it's a risk. Whereas it's a risk, I don't. 
you lot agree with me or not, but I think that there's more chance that a failure at Liverpool wouldn't stop him being Bayern manager. Whereas I think a failure at Bayern would stop him being Liverpool manager. You might have a point there. Yeah, I get that. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's why I think think it might be Zerbi. You want Zerbi? I've got a feeling it might be. I reckon it might be Zerbi. I'm Edwards out if we get Zerbi. I think he fits the profile more than anyone. I, I, I can't handle Liverpool every now and again taking an 8 4 slapping. No thanks. Hmm. Like, if you go and look at the result, oh, that's beautiful. Uh, I'm not even going to lie. That was a good goal, man. That oh, was actually a good goal. It's a great goal. It's a nice goal, man. Nice goal. Is Sadar playing for you? I've got a goalkeeper in Dubai. Nah, he's not there, you know. Mm. Uh, I wish Rayner was back, man. Well, right, Rayner comes in. You know what they're going to be saying tomorrow? They're going to say sack Ericsson in the morning. That's what they're going to be saying. <coughs> Seedor for me was one of the most underrated players. Ericsson in the morning. Oh, yeah, 100%, bro. We were saying it before you jumped in, bro. Seedorf could possibly be the most underrated midfielder of his generation, if not in football like i don't yeah. actually think people yeah. realize just how good he was yeah he's the only player in foot in, in football history to win three champions no, with two separate, with a, a champion champions league with three separate teams sorry there we are yep that's incredible is he the only player yeah. still yeah it could have been tiago tiago could have been did someone Tiago in 2022 had the opportunity to do it, but we all know what happened then. Didn't Sherry hey, Alonso? Can we have a can we have a VAR yeah. check on uh, all of these goals as well? Javi. No, Alonso, Alonso never won it with Bayern. No, I never won it with Bayern. Um, <clears> he <throat> left Bayern just before they won, right? Rams? Uh no, it was the season after. Season after uh, Real won the Champions League, he left. Mm. So it's unfortunate for him. <laughs> Skirtle with hair don't look right, does he? Oh, smart Skirtle with hair looks weird, man. Honestly, he does. I was just gonna say that, Rams. I'm like, Skirtle got here now. He had to go on to Turkey. It don't look right, does it? He's even got no. a fade as well. <laughs> Mad. <laughs> I was going to ask you, man, if that was Agar with a skirt and shirt. Oh, oh right. He's Skirt. actually genuinely he's been in Turkey you know. for a while. Maybe while he's there. You know, the scary thing oh, is as well, right, yeah, at yeah, this yeah. age, yeah, if you see somebody like mash up, you know that it's going to be a while till they're better. Who is that? A radio. It's a radio, um, isn't it? Yeah. A radio getting into a shot car. Are you telling me these men can't win for Ericsson? Second half, they're going to turn it on. That's what I'm telling you, Drift. <laughs> they're no good, man. And uh, I, I, I have, have no shame. Busy, I thought, oh, I'm off. No. Gregory Vinny. Aldridge and Russia coming on at half time. <laughs> He's not a legend. What are we doing here? Yeah, I was going to say, Gregory Vigna, I don't know about him. He's a legend. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. Oh. You yeah. might need to change it from Liverpool legends to you played for Liverpool. because i tell you what he is a legend of. He's an FM legend of. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone legend. knows, yeah, he's if only... anyone knows, you know. If you know, you know. Is that, what did you say? Is, that, is an M legend, did you say? F- FM, no, he's an FM legend. FM legend. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> First young left yeah. backs you can get in the Premier League. Uh, nobody's a bigger FM legend than Javier Saviola. Saviola. He was a cheat code, honestly. He was an actual yeah. cheat code. Oh. There you go. Go on, Momo. Sissoko. Why does well, he's all, why he's does Sissoko now look like a doorman? 
He probably is, bro. So Smoko looks like a doorman. Yeah, that wrist is that wrist is broke. That's done. Bro, he's going oh, straight to so That's ribs. Wow. Oh, oh, ribs. To be fair, I think the Ajax team shouldn't have been allowed to bring so many young men. Yeah, they, they, they look very young. I agree. <laughs> you can tell they've just finished playing. Do you know what I mean? Like, you can yeah, like, tell that they're... Yeah, like, some of them... I remember some of these players playing when in like the, in the early 2010s. Like, that's a bit too young. When they're when they're well, like the mid twenty, thirty, Ram. Do you know what I mean? Like I said, he can yeah. still be. He, he might have only just retired but like a year. If you're an actual, the only way you should be able to play in a legends game is if your kids are legally allowed to drink. That is, <laughs> that shows their age. Then that's, <laughs> that's all they need to be. That's all well, I mean, to be to fair, Jamie, if I want some of these footballers have their kids when they're about nineteen. So, hey. Yeah, true. true. You've got nothing else to do after you train, let's face it. Just go and bang your missus. Yeah. <laughs> I still remember McAllister's. Remember, McAllister won the World Cup. <laughs> and he just said it on Twitter to his, to his missus, like, I love you so much, that shag. Just to the whole yeah, of Twitter, yeah, just say, right. yeah. You know what I respect? I, respect I just it. won. <laughs> Look at how I just won there, get on your back. Is that what you're telling me? He said. Half time, people. And it is 2 0. 2 0 to Ajax. Yeah, it's a yeah, bit right. of a shame, isn't it? But they have been. They have been. They got younger teams. We look like P and P. Liverpool playing like power and pace, and Ajax are playing with class. That's the difference. So I'm just trying to do some background stuff. Oh, no. All right, so guys, we had this super chat, which I've saved for half time because we'd need to put a little bit of concentration into it. Dead or alive, a bit the best ever Liverpool eleven. Ooh. Right, Chris, Liverpool never been dead or alive. Um, Ray Clements in goal. I've got Clements, Clements or Allison in goal, yeah. Yeah. Um, right back. Nickel. Phil Neal. Phil Neal, yeah. Four European Cups. Yeah, Phil Neal. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we go with that. Phil Neal don't get spoken oh. about enough. Phil Neal don't get spoken about enough. Have you seen? Have well, you I mean, seen you know, but because, he's before our, because they're before because they're before our time, it's hard to like have that hype about them or remember. I remember them Jamie, English football back then, it weren't like it weren't like talked about as it is now. You know what I mean? Oh no, no, no. Mm. Not got that trophy from it's, you know, it's, it's funny, you know. I was watching um shout out to the um stick to football podcast because I, I I don't really care if it's uh Gary Neville, I think it's a brilliant podcast. I really enjoy watching it. Yeah, and um podcast. they were talking they were talking about how hard it was to play in Europe, even when you dominated the Premier League back in the day. And I think a lot of people forget that back in the day before social media, you probably didn't even know who you were playing. Like you barely saw that. Like you, you had no idea how good the team was. All you had was a scout report. You just had the scout report. That was it. The scout would come and tell you, but you can't gauge it off of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As in football for me, so I used to. When I was a kid, it used to be teletext. Look at the pictures for teletext. That's how it was. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Um, oh, centre back will be very interesting, guys. There's a few about, amount, man. You've got Phil Thompson, mm -hmm. you've got Ian St. John. I, think I would personally go Virgil and Hansen. I think so as well. 
Yeah, Virgil's in there for sure. Yeah, Hans, yeah, I'd have to agree. St. Ian St. John was good too. No, he was. He was. But Hanson was like, can you imagine if Hanson was playing now? He was a ball playing centre back back then when it wasn't even popular to be there. Yeah. Hanson. Yeah, yeah Hanson and uh, Virgil, the best centre back part. Like, this is the thing, right? Shit. This is where you have to say that English football wasn't like, it wasn't popularised in Europe at the time. Because people talk about liberos then. He was the only libero in Europe at that time. Everyone else was just a hard tackling kind of player. He was the only mm. one that was actually playing the libero, like the Beckenbauer role. Yeah. Let me just put the yeah. left, so left back. Uh, left back. Alan Kennedy, probably. Yeah, yeah, I would say, yeah. Something like Alan yeah. Kennedy. Yeah, yeah. Over um Robo. Yeah, I think so. Put Robo. Yeah, um, I think Robo for his accomplishment deserves a shout. Hundred percent. But Alan Kennedy scored in the Champions League final, didn't he? He did. And against Real as well. So I'll give it. I'll give I'd it to Kennedy. 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 You gotta remember that Prime Robbo was different class as well. We've got to give him his juice there. Yeah. Mm. yeah Midfield is gonna be techie because there's a lot. I think there's a one sh there's I've one for sure person that's going in there for well, me. I've got, yeah. I've got two midfielders. Two midfielders that definitely go in. That's Graham Sunes and Gerard. Sunes and Gerard definitely go into there. So you got your two box to box. Yeah, Who's gonna be your third one? So what we're playing four Gerard. three three, yeah. Well we're playing four four two. Yeah. If we're yeah, playing four four two, then it's three and Gerard. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, playing four, three, yeah. four three three, you can play Sunis and Gerrard as your advancing eights and Molby as your six. Yeah. Mm. Or you could play a double pivot of Gerard and Sunis, and you could have you could have someone like as an advanced player. I I mean I would have done something like four two three one, Gerard and Sunis, then Dow Gleesh in front of them. That number ten role. No, Ronnie Whelan. Um, no. Yeah, I'll probably, I'll probably go sooner than Gerard. Yeah, they're two best um, midfielders ever. Before. Left wing or left midfield is easy. That's Barnes. John Barnes, like, that's John Barnes, John Barnes for sure. Um, right Barnes mid, Salah. Salah. Salah's Liverpool's greatest ever right winger. Yeah, and Salah. Up top. Oh, hang on, hang on. We can't do Ooh. this because it's got to be Dalglish and Dalglish and Rush. What Rush? Ooh, Rush. 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 How did I forget Rush? Yeah. The thing is, you can't, you can't, you. I was thinking Dalglish and Suarez, but they're more or less the same player. Yeah, Dalglish. That's true. Manaman, Manaman is a shout too, you know. On the, uh, Suarez on the, on the, right, player, but... on the left, yeah, well, yeah. or right. I'd... I don't know if I don't well, know if Suarez was a better footballer than Kenny Dalglish. We'd, we'd have to go to play people like Highway and and stuff like that as well if we're going to go on the wingers. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I think a lot of people. Do you know what I mean? We didn't we didn't watch these guys, but like, they're still like people that we have to give that you know men, mm -hmm. honorable mention to. So, Peter Beardsley yeah. is honorable mention for midfield. Yeah. And you want to know what as well? I can't believe his bloody name is. How can his name be absent from my mind? We lost him to sign Kenny. Kevin Keegan. Kevin yeah. Keegan. How the hell could yeah. I? Why on earth? Was I not, like, I mean, Keegan. How can we have an all-time Liverpool eleven and Keegan ain't in it? Well, then Keegan wasn't as good as Dal Gleish. He wasn't. But do you remember 
stories, but when you read the stories, Keegan leaving, everyone thought that was it. Yeah. Yeah, he was uh he won World Player of the Year when he left, didn't he? Keegan and Toshak had that telepathic chemistry, didn't they? I right, Toshak. Um and I, I think everyone would universally agree that Paisley's gotta be the manager, right? Yeah, hundred percent. Football's great, said manager. Paisley well, has it too. a show as a player as well. He was good. Yeah, the boot room. Hey, Aldridge. Do you know what Aldridge was a savage? You know, it's such a shame how his like Liverpool career ended, man. We didn't even mention Chris, did you think... either. No, did you? Have you guys seen? Have you seen Roger? Have you seen um, John Aldridge's games to goals ratio? It's mad. It's ridiculous, James. He was only there it's two ridiculous. seasons. Yeah, he and he got four stars. We basically got John Aldridge. We basically got John Aldridge just to cover Ian Rush for two years while he was away. <laughs> That's all we did. And then Rush came back, and we yeah. went right. We don't need you anymore. Thank you for your services and let him go. It's mad. Ah, oh, we didn't mention Emlyn as well. Bloody hell. Emily no, Hughes. do you know what the club no, did, Aldridge? Dirty. When Emily knew a left back, played left back, didn't he? I mean, right. Yeah, I'm sure he was. Yeah, we um, yeah, we definitely done Aldridge dirty, and it's funny because he didn't tell the story until the other day when he did that interview. So all these years, nobody knew just how much he was done dirty by the club. Yeah, we even mentioned Sir Roger Hunt, man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, bloody hell. yeah! It I might be, it might be impossible to name an all-time eleven when you've had as many legends as we have. Yeah, yeah. I think we were, we need I think Ron, Ron Yeats either. I think when you look at English football history, Liverpool, Manchester United have the two most legendary players in the history of English football. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Definitely. Agree, Jamie. And it's not even close compared to the other no, teams. So. Yeah, two of them are miles ahead. That's yeah. why Liverpool yeah, Man United not... have old uh, players on their boards and stuff like that and representing the club because it's just legends of the game. Yeah, JB, yeah. you're right. Billy Liddell, we didn't even mention him either. Billy Diddle, yeah. yeah. Diddle Paul, they used to call it when he played. Ray Houghton, for real. Yeah, there's just too many legends when it comes to Liverpool, man. There's too many. Yeah. Hey, guys, what do you th what do you think of this Rodrigo talk to Liverpool to be Salah's replacement? Oh. They need to put stuff in the papers while the international breaks on, bro. I yeah. I, I personally I don't even I, I don't even rate Rodrigo, so I wouldn't touch him. So I don't know if he fits, Jimmy, to be honest. I don't rate him. I'd I think he's a very good goal scorer. He's a very good goal scorer, but outside of that, I don't know if he would fit in. I really don't. Yeah. I'd rather go and get um thingy from West Ham for the money, personally. Oh, Kudus. Kudus? Kudus? Yeah. Yeah, Kudus is a yeah. baller, man. Kudus reminds me of my name. Kudus, Quite a lot. Kudus yeah. is a baller. And obviously, Pakatar. He um he's the other West Ham one as well. What do you guys think of this whole uh, rumors that Real Madrid want Trent? I think they nah, do. I, I, I think they do. I mean, yeah, they want him as in he's super talented, but I don't think there's any legs yeah. to the to the report. Though. I'm not no, really that Trent bothered. What, what why Ooh. you would let him go if they wanted him, Rams? No, I'm not bothered if uh, about Real Madrid coming in. He's staying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree with you. Someone sent me know. a link that, that he said that uh, yeah, Real Madrid can buy him on on FIFA. <laughs> or if they want, they can give us about 250, 300 million pounds for him. I I I don't know, man. I I, I think it ain't set in stone that Trent stays. He's gonna mess up his legacy if he goes. And I think it's Liverpool. I think the only person so that said leaves Liverpool. I mean, well, Matt Manliman, he left for Real Madrid, didn't he? He made his career going around Madrid. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's why no one rated you. Is, is Maka? That's He's why very no underrated. Jim, like Matt never gets picked up or talked about because 
because people remember how he no, left. And I, yeah, I think Matt Manningham was a blue low, weren't he? Wasn't Matt Manningham an Everton fan? If I remember rightly. No, no, no. He can't have been because he took... I, I don't know, actually. I don't know. Jamie Carragher is an um, Everton fan. Can you, imagine, can you imagine Real Madrid? Can you imagine Real Madrid with uh, Trent on the right, Bellingham and Mbappe on that side of the pitch? That'd be mad. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. That'd be mad. <laughs> yeah. Someone would have to do some serious FFP investigating over there, mate. Facts. <laughs> yeah. You can't go. You well, can't time Bellingham in one summer. You had about Chelsea. What about? You him? can't go Bellingham one summer and Mbappe the next summer, Trent the next summer, and all of them are 120 mm. mil up. Like, come on, man! I thought FFP no, was no. a real thing. No. The royal family have, can't be uh, funding Real Madrid. Have you seen no, Chelsea? Whatever. Chelsea got a sell. Chelsea yeah, got a sell two hundred and thirty million pounds worth of talent next season. Or get punished. That's mad. Let's see if they'll take 40 mil for Cole sell, now. Everyone's... The problem is, everyone's on death row contracts. How you going to get them out? How you going to get them out of there? <laughs> How you going to get them out of there? <laughs> Did this Real Madrid thing, let's be real here. Yeah. FFP being in, in, involved means whether the Royal family backed them or not, it should be just like uh, Man City, like it doesn't matter how much money the people have got backing you, there's laws you're supposed to uphold to, right? So Real Madrid shouldn't oh. be able to flex their muscle oh. in this market as much as they used to, so I know they make a lot of money yearly, but can they afford to have these players on million pound wages and all this crazy stuff in this, the way FFP is? I don't know. Well, Drift, why do you reckon Real Madrid desperately want the Super League? It's because they can't afford it. Yeah. And they know that's guaranteed that's money. The Super League, yeah. Although I think there's a little part of me that they want the Super League because they're jealous of the Premier League. Oh, yeah, yeah, they want... Well, it's Real Madrid's fault the way the Spanish League is. They should look at themselves. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, Real Madrid yeah. are throwing 70% of the TV money. They get 70% of the TV money. Real Madrid and Barcelona, 70% of the TV money. The rest of it's down, dribble down league. And they wonder why it's in it. Shell. It's crazy, isn't it? Look at yourselves, man. And Real Madrid, by the way, weren't saying all this when they had Vigo, Beckham, Zidane, Gutti, <laughs> Real... You know, R9. I did hear my, uh, Madrid moaning about other leagues being potentially richer back then. Did anyone else? Mm, no. Not having no, that. agreed. By the way, smash that like button, guys. Yeah, we said John Barnes. Uh, oh, it's heavy. Hold on. Mo saying he's just found out that Nori would be considered homegrown since he came into the Premier League at 19. Are you sure, bro? You got to be a bit younger than that, don't you? When did we sign? I tell you what, eight Nori. Eight Nori's good, man. I'd take him at Liverpool all day. Um, I'm trying yeah, to think. I don't when know did he's he 22, sign? Though. I need that to see that birth certificate, man. The man is old. I highly, I highly doubt it because he, if he, joined, he joined on loan in October. Nah, he would have been 19 by that point. It would be too late. You have to be 18 before you sign. I thought before he was signed, even younger than you know what he's mad. No, Musiala. so you have to have before you hit 21, Musiala. you have to play we'll three years. Um you have to have three years oh. in English football before you hit 21. Because oh. um, yeah, set yeah. will count as how homegrown because we Musiala. signed him at 18. Musiala's oh, homegrown. Yeah. Musiala would Chelsea. be homegrown. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's right. Chelsea, Chelsea had... Chelsea, I can't believe... You, you look at the players Chelsea had in their academy, Musiala's, your Declan Rice's, and they just let him go, man. It's mad. Yep. Absolutely mad. Chelsea have, but that's Chelsea the way have definitely the Roman more than it. They've, they've dropped the ball more than anybody. Absolutely. Of and they're going to continue dropping the ball, Drift. 
I'm a good Yeah. Did you do you know what Chelsea are in so much of a yeah, mess I, I, that we stopped caring yeah. about them? That's crazy, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like we've and actually stopped caring about it. And... Until and they Uwe get Bowley, he said he doesn't want to stop. Yeah. Oh my god, it's rain. Until until Chelsea get a proper sporting director who's actually gonna control football business and take the owners from doing what they're doing right now, they're gonna continue to be in a mess. Because they just keep buying the same players at huge prices at the same positions. Like, mm. why did you buy three different DMs costing two hundred million dollars? Didn't make no sense to me. And next, they tried to, get... to show off, baby. Of they, course, they tried to show off, and we all know what happens to show us. What's happening right now? You're in eleventh. Yeah, you know what I mean. You fall flat on your face in front of the girl you fancy. It's always the way, bro. According to the girl, flipping while getting to second base and third base, and they got another guy swoop in and left you with the blue balls. That's exactly what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically like you know what it is. It's like it, it, it's like a really ugly man, but he's really wealthy and he gets a Playboy model with his girlfriend. But you know, seriously, that girlfriend is not going as hard as she really could do. That is what's going on at Chelsea right now. You know, they're the ugly Crazy. boyfriend that's rich, and no one wants to touch them. That's what they are, man. <laughs> no, one wants to, no one wants to go down in there. <laughs> that's they are. They're the ugly boyfriend. Well done, Cal. Torres, man, come on. Come on, lads. Let's get back in this game for Ericsson. Torres, what are we playing for? Yeah, I know, right? Oh, Steve, get on the ball, shot. man. What's going on here? This Legends game is going... Look, Stevie, are you trying to make everybody put Salah above you in the list? I've already got him there. So. I know. I told you, like being controversial, Jamie, I swear. What minute are oh, you guys Salah's on? Liverpool's greatest ever Premier League player, right? Uh, 51 minute, and uh, 5. Okay. Oh, I'm a little bit ahead of you, bro. I, oh, I, don't, yeah. I don't even oh, think... Yeah. I don't think I can... I'm on 23, I'm 24, on 51 and 15. 15. Oh, shit, I'm 10 seconds ahead. I don't think I can... Let me see if I can pause, man. Can my one pause? I don't... Because I'm not only oh, off the app, I'm also. Cool. Tell you what, guys, Stevie still got it. Hold on, I'm on 53, 54. Am I still ahead? I'm on, I'm just about to hit 52 minutes. Yeah, I just hit 52, 52 or three. Oh, okay. I'm only two seconds I'm ahead. On 50, okay. I'm on 52. Yeah. Uh, are you like, able to pause so Jamie can catch us up? Yeah, I could pause. Yeah. Uh, everyone pause. everyone pause on 52. 52 I'm on 52 Okay, hold on. Oh, oh you're not, you're not behind us then. 30. Oh, oh, we're all, we're all okay. together 52 then. 52 32, 32, 32. 32, 32. Yeah, we're all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're oh, all yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, shot from no distance problem. off the crossbar. Woo! Oh, wow. Ooh. No. Sand of Esterville, the friend of the channel. All right, big up, Vesterville. I'm not going to lie. When we had him on, yeah, he was so hilarious off um, camera, man. He's, he's, a, he's one of the real ones, I'm telling you. And you want to know what? He's actually a downplayed, underrated Liverpool G, you know. Vesterveld was a bad boy for Liverpool. He made one mistake. I remember. And he made it. He won all them trophies. I remember he had a massive fight with, um, with um, what's his name? 
the Duncan Ferguson. The Evertonian. No, no, no. It was um, yeah. the Evertonian, young Evertonian. Uh, Jeffrey, uh, Franny Jeffers. Oh, Francis Jeffers, yeah. Franny Jeffers. Yeah, he's a G, man. Well, when your name's Franny, you go get in trouble, you know what I mean? What? <laughs> you could tell Benitez just wanted to sign Rain to say he made it. Oh, yeah. Igor Bishan. Bishan is not aging well at all, man. Nah, he is not. He is not aging well at all. He's not even that old. Is Bishan even 50 yet? He's not fifty. He's not. No, but he's in management. No, but he's in management drift. He's in management already. Oh, that's what it is. That's what it is. It's only, yeah. He manages Croatia. Stuff, though, he? Yeah, he manages Croatia. I swear. That's so. Is that old Mark old. Gonzalez with a pullback? Yeah, this guy looks older and Klopp. Yeah. He does. Mark yeah. Gonzalez is a genius. We, we were talking about Vidal, and he scored you, man. Oh, Vinya scored. Yeah, oh, Vinya scored. So. No, Vinyal, yeah. oh, oh, back in. Here we go. Oh, oh no. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Oh, we have got the Chelsea Fernando. We have got that. Oh. What are you just now? <laughs> it's the Chelsea He's got a blue Fernando. shirt on. He's got a shirt. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's a yellow, at least. Vinyal, yeah, don't get ahead of yourself. Gregory. I'll just see. You're wrapped in giving man. Darwin Nunes is coming on for a kick of that. All right, guys. I'm going to be box. childish for a second, right? I'm going to give you a what would you rather scenario. Let's be childish for a minute. Love, would you rather. I love being childish. Let's go. Would, would, would you rather become. Both, both scenarios, you're a professional footballer, right? Would you rather yeah. be on 100 grand a week? But nobody, you ended your career and you was like that guy, no one even remembers. Yeah. But you got you but you made a hundred grand a week. Or would you rather earn 20 grand a week, but you went down as Lionel Messi? 20. Um, Do you know why? Because afterwards, bare people were having me on interviews and I get asked them to pay me big bucks for the interviews. <laughs> <laughs> I'm with you, Ram. Yeah, that's that's strategy. Yeah, 20. 20. I'll be yeah. I'll go the other way. I'll be that hundred grand man that no one remembers, yeah. But I'll be getting pussy on my yacht and sniffing a <laughs> fine stranger. Yeah, we're living the life. Damn. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Living Damn. my it's life, fun. man. No one knows who I am. Everyone's forgotten about me. Everyone's forgotten about Jamie Phillips. He was on hundred grand a week. You week for years. Everyone oh, forgot about him. Oh, <laughs> Oh, there's a on the beach to come over the Stevie. So, Stevie, yeah. It's not a streaker, it's a little kid. Oh, oh the kid. Little kid. The police are over there. Spray him. Spray him. <laughs> he just wanted to get I'm a sorry. It didn't take three grown men to get a kid, man. Come on. <laughs> it did. It did. Say, say you don't look happy. Well, you know, in the, in the world we live in now, if a kid's running up to you, you just start thinking about lawsuits. Yeah. Or even if they're running up to you, just think <laughs> the worst. They might have something on you. Might do. They might. They might have a weapon or something. Yeah. Did you see that craziness in um, Russia yesterday? In the mall? <sighs> well. Oh. No. No. Nah, I haven't been. Mad. I did see something though. Uh, you know, you guys know uh, Batshuayi. Yeah. He's a yeah. guy, he, yeah. apparently I've seen right. a video of him doing like a spinning kick on someone. Oh, is it? Yeah, during a football match. Is that what he's become now? Oh, what Good a tackle. tackle son. Whoa, referee, oh. no. Oh, it's Vinyal. What is, what is this what did Gregory Vinyal take like at half time? <laughs> yeah, my well. He's just living off adrenaline now. Yeah, he, but that was uh, that, that was yeah. a good tackle. It was a good tackle. It's a good thing we're not freaking out. Like what? Yeah. Probably. 
That's not foul. Where's the foul? I've got the even ball. in the Legends games. Who's the old boy? Finally, the they're bringing us some players. An old boy. Is that someone's dad? Don't go crazy like <laughs> on, uh, on that foul now. Drifty like uh, Mo again with Inter Milan last week. So say that again, so bro. You know that guy Mo, the Inter Milan fan. Did you see his? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. When he went crazy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was characteristic yeah, as well. Mom, He's normally so calm. And- <laughs> <laughs> nah, he deserves that. The amount of times he sits on that damn fence and saying this, <laughs> this, and that about Liverpool, about Arsenal, about everybody, man deserves to show some emotion when it comes to Inter Milan because they are shit. <laughs> Rams, I was in stitches when I saw the meltdown happen. I was oh. laughing my head off. He was like, he was like, F Martinez, F Sanchez, F Inter, F the people that brought, him, brought these two bums into the sea. I was like, I was fucking dying. <laughs> I was dying. I do feel a bit bad for, for teams sometimes when they're in a situation where they kind of have to like deal with the old players that are at the end of their career. So, you know, it's not fun to watch. When I saw that they've got, um, they've got, what's his name? What's the old school Stoke um, striker's name again? Peter Crouch. Um, no, nah, the one who, uh, the one who's there now, the one who's at Inter now. Oh, Arnautovic. Yeah, like don't get me wrong, I think Arnautovic is talented, but not at this stage of his career. Like imagine having Arnautovic, Mik- uh, Mkhitaryan, and Sanchez all playing in your team at the same time. Like imagine having to put up with that dross. Drift, they they got no money, man. They've got rejects from all different teams. Just put in. That's what school. I'm saying. It must be. It must be so difficult, man. Yep. Is Jekko still there? No, I don't think so anymore. And then they got the say- Martinez. He's terrible. I'm not a fan of him at all. <laughs> don't rate him whatsoever. Oh my days! They've got Klassen from yeah, Everton. Yeah, 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 from Everton. That's what I'm saying. Oh, come on. Oh. Uh, what do you do? Pass the ball. What are you doing, bro? J- Jamie's right. This is this is Chelsea Torres. Jamie was right. This is Chelsea Torres. Yeah, one hundred percent. Why did you Why did you just shoot? Why you? That was so oh my greedy. God. He could have passed the ball to Babel. Babel was right there. That's a good ball. Hey, right, Gonzalez has been whipping in there. Oh, he's he's lucky. Lucky. I like him, Steve. Is that Cisse up front now? Gibral Cisse. Yeah, Cisse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gibral Cisse. Yeah, That's my guy, man. I wish he wasn't in. If he never broke his leg, he would have been special. He really would have. Do you know he broke his leg three times? Double leg break. (laughs) Yeah, I know. How many goals did he score at here for in Liga? Liga? A lot. I swear he... I swear he scored more goals than Drogba when they both came to the Premier League. They both came at the same time. Yeah, yeah. He was we definitely got the best striker at the time. At the time, we definitely got the best striker. And I felt bad for him because if we'd have kept Julia who signed him, Julia would have used him, but you could tell Rafa didn't like him. No, I thought Rafa bought him. No, no, it was Julia. Rafa didn't like him from the day. It was obvious. Oh. Oh, this guy. Oh, that that Ancho get. Good tackle. I'm proud of Aga. 60 minutes in, he never used to last an hour in professional football, never mind legend game. Let's go. (laughs) Come on. Go on, Stevie. Drive. Man. Go on, Stevie. Drive. There we go. There you go. Go on, Jibs. Do him up, son. Oh. I knew Jibby was a legend when he made himself a lord. 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> Lord of Bolden or Fulgen or whatever it was. <laughs> Love it. I was like, nah, Jim Reel's the man. I wonder what Klopp does during these himself. international breaks. Oh, so Babel is, I thought Babel he's might there, be right? playing for them. Is that De Boer? As in, yeah. like, Frank De Boer? Yeah, it looks like Frank. Yeah. Yeah. It says De Boer. Yeah. yeah. No, it's Ronald. Ronald De Boer. Oh, and is it Ronald? Wait, is this I the mean, one that plays at centre back or the one that plays up front? They're yeah, twins, Ronald is it? Ronald. So, yeah. Is it Ronald? Oh, Davids is off already. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, Davids is old. Davids is an old, old man. Oh, yeah, you're right. It is Ronald. Ronald De Boer. To be fair, yeah, they did bring really up a better player. Are they, huh? are they the best brothers to play football? Nope. Loudrup. Oh, that's Charlton a Brothers. Charlton Brothers. How about the Nevilles? <laughs> oh, no, I don't like, I don't obviously like saying that because, but yeah. Oh, oh my God. Char- Babel, Babel oh, don't do one it. On one. It's one on one. Oh, Babel's like, nope. no, <laughs> no, I I guess that. That. he did that on purpose. On purpose. He doesn't want to mess up Ericsson's thing. He did that on purpose. Ryan Babel will always. I, Ryan Babel, I'll always love just for that tweet he put out about Howard Webb. Oh, well. <laughs> yeah, he's another player he that I think um, Benitez. Benitez done him dirty, man. Ryan Babel could have been well, Liverpool's have you heard, Thierry have you heard Ryan Babel's interview? Have you heard his interview about, no. Gerald, uh, about Rafa? No, he doesn't no. really Rafa at all. Yeah, I don't blame I feel him, like to be honest. All these players that we got, they would have cooked so much better with Jurgen under, under at the helm. Yeah. Oh, yep. you. oh, oh, please say. Oh, that's someone. Please say, enjoying life. Enjoying I think life. I think people just didn't like yeah. Rafa because he was just cold as a manager. Like he was heart. Yeah. I want to say heartless, but he, like he would. He was like no oh, yeah. nonsense kind of. No, no, come on, Rafa. Rafa he was heartless. Rafa. Rafa Benitez is is like a mother-in-law, ain't he? He puts up with you, but he don't like you. <laughs> That's what he yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Rafa is. He puts up with you, but he don't like you. Like, you wouldn't run under brick walls for this guy, if you get what I mean. You wouldn't Rafa run Benitez stole Jabby Alonso because he went to his childbirth rather than coming to play Champions League. And he went to Gareth. That's a cold heart, Barry brother. Well. Oh, no, nah, no. Nah, he kind of explained the Gareth Barry thing, though. He kind of explained it. I was like, ah, oh, I see what you mean. Because he was like, he wanted he wanted Gareth Barry alongside just to fulfill the quota. And he's also just have him in the squad. But he needed is, money. To be he needed fair, money because the club wouldn't give him money. And he ended up selling uh, Alonso just to fulfill the money that we can get Gareth Barry for. To be fair to Rafa, I actually oh. feel. Oh, free one. Oh, oh. no, he's offside. I actually think Gareth that um, Gareth, Gareth Barry. Barry, Gareth Barry, Barry by the way, was a good footballer. He was a good footballer. And I, I think if we'd have signed him instead of Aquilani, we would have actually been all right. Yeah, I agree. No, nope. I like Gareth Barry. Still playing, man. I like James Milner and all that he, sort of stuff. They're good footballers. Yeah, he couldn't hold a candle to Alonso, but he was a good player, though. Yeah, but Alonso's generational, ain't he? Just, Bloody mm. hell, mine yeah, he goes, looks you had the so joke different. about mine. Have you had the Have you the heard joke the joke about, about Martin Skirtle? What's no. that? Martin Skirtle. What, you know, what's everyone that? used to say Martin Skirt was so hard. Martin Skirt was so hard. He used to walk into Burger King and order the uh, and order the Big Mac and got one. Yeah, <laughs> 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 oh, Martin Skirt El Zara's come on. Still got it. Well done, Cal. 
Cow's still Dirk working Cow. back, you know. Dirk Cow, by the way. Uh, I just want Agu just to shoot from distance, man. Honestly, who is now? Trying to get in team, man. He's a filler. That's what he is. Elzar. Every time, every time Gonzalez gets the ball, he just crosses. Like literally, every like this, he did one touch cross, one touch cross, corner. Wait, so Ronald, Ronald is the centre back, and Frank is the striker, or is it the other way around? Yeah. No, Frank um, is. Yeah, the, yeah, I think it's that way. Ronald. Frank's left back, isn't it? Ronald's a better player. Ronald the ball is always. The no, no, no. Frank, Frank was the better one. Yeah. Yeah, Frank was definitely the better one. Frank Frank is like one of the biggest Dutch Frank is a bit ever. Of... Frank is a bit of a prick, though, isn't he? <laughs> As a manager. Uh, He's a bit of a knob. We... Aristotle, we've got. Uh... Minutes, by the way. Come on, hippie. We oh. we can equalize it, you know. There you uh... go. Sammy, that post. Oh, cow! We actually need it. Oh, volley! Oh my God! Come on! Oh, Derek, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You, if, if you're, if you're, if you're in your mid forties, you gotta think about a bicycle because your vertebrae could snap, bro. Yeah. Technique, <laughs> <laughs> cat. Oh, that's good. That's good technique, cat. Yeah, it looks it all the way. Do you know what? I think Dirk Kout's one of our most underrated Premier League players, you know? Yeah, I agree. <clears throat> I'm with you, Drift. His consistency was right, impeccable, man. man. He was fantastic. Seven out of ten every game. Bang, bang, and bang, bang, right bang. Every game. Yeah, 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 incredible work rate. Right. I agree, Jimmy. Incredible work rate. Right. Come on. Switch. Uh, come on, guys. Uh, Cal, uh, 70, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 57, 58, 59, 71. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, boom, there we go. You, I'll tell you right now, if Dirk Cout was in his 20s, it'd be a Jurgen Klopp signing. Oh, 100%. without a shadow of it. Oh. 100% he would be. Yeah. Well, right. yeah. 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 And do you want to know right, what? Pressing. Cover for more. I think he played it. I think he played a false nine for Jurgen like an absolute monster. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he might be a cover for more too. Cover for more right wing. Yeah. Because he can actually cross the ball. He can. By the way, those are only the thoughts of one man, and we know which man those are. If you can see the chat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dark Kalama. Dark Kalama yeah. arrived. Rev. Well, shall we say, you know, you know, with modern medicine and all that kind of stuff, maybe we could just inject him with a little bit of like a youth serum, get him back into the team one more time for one season, proper last dance stuff. That's a ball. Oh. Uh, oh. You don't deserve to score. I, I think it's time for Fernando. I think it's time for Fernando to come off. Do you know what I mean? Why have we got this Judas on the pitch for so long anyway? Why, well, Drifty, you still um <laughs> you still um you still have a lot of hatred for him. <laughs> she Ram, she slept with my brother, bro. I'm never forgetting it. <laughs> Can I give you a suggestion then, Drift, to add to the context to the situation? Go on then. You weren't treating her properly, man. You know what I mean? Constant fighting, constant bickering. 
you know what I mean? Just weren't oh, as no. it was it, back it, in the it, day. It's like your own kid. But my brother? It, my brother. It's like your own. <laughs> no. It's like, uh, it's like it's like your own kid. It's like your own kid calling you uncle. Do you know what I mean? That it just. No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I got. I got. Oh, uncle Jamie's so, come to visit. <laughs> Drifty. Who? Who do? You, who? Who do? You, who do you forgive more, Coutinho or um? Uh... Go. There we go. Dribble C C. Well, that's not dribble C C. It might be Danaga. Yeah. I told you man, about this. Like, that's a real yeah, Liverpool no. striker there. One Nando's. So Rams, Coutinho or who? Or Torres? Yeah, Coutinho or Torres, Drifty. Who do you forgive more? I can forgive Coutinho more, and I'll tell you why. Because Coutinho, Coutinho left the country, and even though it's a cliche, he went to fulfill a childhood dream. Torres went down the road and played for Chelsea scum. Yep. There's no there's no forgiving that. Okay, I'll go one further there, Drift. Torres or Owen? Neither. Oh, Owen, 100 percent Michael Owen tried to come back to Liverpool three times, guys. Don't believe the narrative. Liverpool rejected him and he had no choice but to try and further his career. Oh, he did. Should he have went to Man U? No. Rafa did you know what? Him. Rafa was like, bun that kid. <laughs> his, his only other option was Stoke, and I'm going to be honest Robert with you. Lot, know, are you looking to go for Stoke? Yeah. So there's a part of me yeah. that can understand it to a Maybe. degree. Oh, did, hey, Drift, oh, did you see? Did you see his um, interview with Howard Webb, and he was just giving him questions for him to bail out of the the var. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what he's doing. I don't know what he's doing now. I don't know what I was doing after I saw that. that oh, my clothing. Forget it. Yeah, forget it. Yeah, my club. But you, you know, you know, yeah. Owen feels really hard done by my Liverpool fans. Anyway, did you hear the conversation when he said, anytime he walks around the pitch, he gets booed, and he thinks to himself, all the things I did for this club, and I'm getting booed. Yeah, because you play for the for the Manchester scum, bro. That's why. And that's the yeah, only. I hear that's that. the one thing with Mark Owen. I'd say he doesn't quite understand. I mean, like Fowler. I, don't, I think Fowler and Gerrard would just retire if they could have, only had a choice between a certain club and Man United. They yeah, just retire. They would never do it. But yep. Well, Mark Lovins from Chester, man. So he's not really a scouser, is he? Mm. Mm. He came through the youth system, but he's not a scouser. So I don't think he isn't even a yeah, Liverpool fan. Just... I think he's a Liverpool fan, but. Yeah, he is a Liverpool he, fan. Yeah. Really? He's he doesn't a Liverpool seem fan. That way when that... he's always talking. The funny oh, thing is, no though, if you, I don't know if you lot noticed. I don't know if you lot have ever noticed, yeah, but all of the Liverpool fans um, that are pundits now, it's almost like they go out of their way to be bad mind to Liverpool because they're overcompensating to not seem biased, but then their bias yeah. ends up going the complete other way. Like, Danny Murphy like, is a bona fide like, Liverpool like, fan. Yeah, but he never really says nice things about Liverpool because it's like he's trying to like pander to everybody. It's like Murphy, if you want to big us up, just big us up, bro. It is what it is. Like, a bit like Carragher. Yeah, yeah. Now, he's when, another one. Carragher's a weird one because when Carragher tweets, he tweets like a Liverpool fan, but when he does Monday Night Football, it's like he hates the club. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's it's like an overcompensation for their bias. Big up everyone. I hate well. Carragher so much. Big up I'm just gonna say I'm just gonna I say off the bat Bun Torres, Bun Owen <laughs> and Bun Coutinho. <laughs> <laughs> they're all in the same boat and the boat's sinking. <laughs> Bun them all. Bun Carragher too. Yeah. All uh, Car Carragher's on probation. Carragher's on probation. What about, what about what about what about what about Suarez, Cal? What about Suarez? Nah, Bun Suarez, man. Bun Suarez from long time. What about um Carrig? What about Carrig is on the lifeboat? Carrig yeah, yeah. Bun Mascherano as well. <laughs> what about Chabby Alonso? No, 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 not Chabby. Shall I tell you why Chabby's different? Because he left great. Oh, he didn't do us dirty. Didn't do us dirty. To be fair, he didn't want to leave though, Drift, did he? 
Yeah. But imagine this: people are saying Van Carragher, he's a one club man, and people are still saying Van Carragher. But that's because yeah, he's he's a one club man talking stuff. bad about his wife every week, bro. Oh, oh you know, who wants to take yeah. a bet, Kirkland? Don't yeah. finish the game. Who wants to take the bet? <laughs> 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 This guy could have stayed fit in his 20s. I'm not wasting money. I'm just gonna throw it out here, yeah. Stephen George Gerald could still I heard um I heard that uh, Chris Cook <laughs> no, no. no, you did too much. It not nah, he'd be a bit part player. I no, no, Cal, you did too much. Look at him, you did look at what he's doing, he's dominating the game. Bro, you you maybe, Go on, maybe, maybe oh, three, yeah. 60 minutes. Go on, Jibri. But not every game. Go on, so. got it. Straight to him. Straight to him. Oh, oh too late. Late. Oh, 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 go on. Oh, Sam Torres. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like, yeah, he's like, he's like, I'm not giving him a goal. <laughs> hey. He's like, <laughs> man, like, no, so. Listen, he's like, hey. Torres, you fraud. You're not getting this. No, yeah. I take it in the place. <laughs> I rate him. I rate him. He's gone up in my estimations even more now. No, nah, you yeah, know, we got to be funny. honest. Even though he wasn't a good player <laughs> overall, Elzar was very skillful. Like, he was talented. He was a tricky player. He's, uh, That's he's, one he's one of those players that because Rafa was very regiment in his style, he wouldn't have thrived under Rafa, but could have thrived under a yes. or a Brendan Rogers. Yes, I agree 100 yeah. percent Yeah, I agree with that. He made everyone robotic, and that's why people like Babel Elzar, them and their cinema on goal, they couldn't thrive because it was too regiment. So I feel like I feel like we keep on scooting past the subject to Gerard. And like, are you telling me he couldn't do 20 minutes at the end of a game. No. 100%, bro. As in 100% no or 100% he could? 100% he couldn't, bro. He ain't got it wow. anymore, bro. Not the wow, 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 wow. Okay, cool, cool, cool. He's always going to nah. have the ability, but he, right. but, but come on, bro. You, he'd get ran past Cal, in our... Cal, he was Cal. getting ran past in our midfield at 34, Cal. Wow. He's 44, wow. man. He's 43 wow. years old. Let him wow. rest. Let him rest. Wow. 24 with you. Kyle with you. I think he's good. 20 minutes. I think he's good. Shoot, shoot, Agger. Oh, why are you shooting? By the way, Agger. Agger. go on. Why is Torres still on the pitch? Go on, I'm Agger, Agger could do a thing as well, by the oh, way. No, no, say. His contract. Oh, that was nice. Stephen! I would <laughs> <laughs> have lifted the roof off this place if I went in. What was that? <laughs> that was Agger. Agger. I tell you what, Kyle, if that had gone in, I would have changed my mind. Yeah, no, I'll you're not. No, you're that. not allowed to join the boat now. You Rams, you made your points clear. And, like, I will never forgive you guys for what you've said this afternoon. <laughs> never. <laughs> like, you said what you said. Now I, I, it's done. I'm cow, keeping cow, very cow. quiet on the subject. <laughs> nah, cow, cow. If, 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 maybe, I've got, maybe, I've got, I've got... if. He... I was going to say, Cal, maybe if, it, if in Saudi Arabia does it go through like a hard regimental training, maybe there's a conversation, but now, just, you know. Listen, I'm yeah, taking, man. I'm taking, you say what I'm taking guys. Gerard over uh, Tiago right now. I'll take Fact. Gerard over Tiago right now. Thank you, right Bonds. Thank you. I'm, I'm oh, sorry, this, who? This game's are coming on. I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I don't, I'm not aware of this Tiago person. I don't know if he plays for <laughs> Liverpool, man, honestly. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it is, guys. I, I, I've got, I'm probably the only one on the panel at the moment that's got too much respect for Cal not to say anything and upset him. So, <laughs> no, <I'm> <laughs> <laughs> that's because you're, that's because you're where... the most brutal about it, Jay. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, let's fake it. Stevie in a Premier League game would get slaughtered by Endo. Yeah, this is what oh, I'm Cal saying. Cal wasn't here to hear that as well, so yeah, that's good. Yeah, you upset him, shoot. bro. You upset him. He had to shoot, no, man. Shoot! Oh, my God. He had a shot! <laughs> See what I mean? I was <laughs> the scoring in Torres. Wow. wow. Oh, we nearly got an ag special, you know. Oof, I did say Agar. He let it go, I man. said Agar could do a thing still as well. I'm not just going to say Gerard Agar. He's up there as well still. To be fair, uh, Agar still looks like a pro footballer. Look at him. Oh, unlucky Stephen. Yeah, he, he has kept Agar himself does look in like shape. Like well. Yeah, he does. Yeah. 
I think he um he, he got a bunch of now. operations after he finished playing and just sorted himself out and really started focusing on his health. But yeah, guys, didn't Anka retire at twenty nine? Nah. Yeah, no, yeah, no, he, no, he, no, he, he oh, went oh, back oh. to Bronby at twenty nine. Torres hates Cisse. He hates Cisse. Look at me. He hates Cisse. <laughs> <laughs> he hates. Gerard, stay there, bro. I'll put more love. No way. Why is the worst finish like I've ever seen? Like I don't before. get how he's getting treated like a king. You know, I don't get it. Do you know what I'm saying? Fernando, nah, man. I want Stevie to score now, and I'll be very happy. Stevie ain't scoring. Right, you Torres know, just ignored Bishgan. He thought Bishgan was a crowd invader. Who's <laughs> 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 this bum? Who's this bum? Oh my god, that's such a that's such a dead goal. <laughs> oh, that's a it's such a Chelsea Torres finish. Oh, hey, 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 Jamie, 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 Jamie. <laughs> I think that might be an own goal, you know. <laughs> no, 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 I didn't cross the no. line. <laughs> The ball was still let's on the line. People, let's keep it people. Let's keep it Wouldn't it be awesome if it was an own goal, though? Oh, Sweet doesn't dying. get a goal. <laughs> I am so happy for Sven Gore and Ericsson as well. But, by the way, yeah, so, no, I, was, I was just about to say we yeah, did it man, for Ericsson, man. So happy for him, man. General, I said to these guys, General, the General. Time, we're really going to lose this game. I'll tell you what, though, Cal. If Gerald was under Jurgen Klopp, I think it's a cheat code. I think of course it's an it is. Cheat code. Of course it is. What a prime Gerald in oh, under yeah. Jurgen Klopp? Can you imagine? Quad would have been a, the quad would have been a well, cheat already. Way. Facts, <laughs> guys. Let's put it this way. Let's put it this way. So Bozzoli, Stevie, and McAllister in midfield. <sighs> so wait, where's Stevie back. playing, Jamie? In the six. <laughs> Wherever he wants, Beijing bar. Maybe in the six. Wants... six. So what? What do we do? What do we do is if we're getting countered by the likes of Neto, Son, De Bruyne, um, Gerard's pace gets out of it. What do you mean? Now we got to be honest. You got to drop Gerard's line and play Endo in the scenario. It, it, all right, if we're going back to prime clock, when it was Fabinho, Genie, and Hendo, Hendo, and you swap Gerard for Hendo, it's done. Oh, I thought yeah. you meant Gerard now. I didn't oh, know. Yeah. No, no, you're all Gerard. Gerard in frame. Gerard in frame. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm, I'm going to be real with you. Gerard now, I'd go Endo and Trent in a double pivot and Gerard in a 10. Kurt. Oh, my God. Kurt. <laughs> They're dropping <laughs> everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you're, dropping, you're dropping arguably <laughs> our wrong. most performing midfielder for, for 44 years, Stevie. I rate it. I rate it, Kurt. I rate it. No. <laughs> <laughs> It's rotation, man. It's rotation, bro. It's and then when Gerard and Endo and, and Trent need a rest, you just throw McAllister, Sobozlai, and whoever else. And Bichetti. All right. Let me, let me throw you a little curveball since we're on the subject. We're going to do a video on this, but I'll, I'm only going to ask you a lot about the midfield. Under Klopp, in a three, what's Liverpool's best midfield? Fabinho. The, the one that won the Premier League. Fabinho, Genie. And Hendo. That's oh, boy. oh, oh tell Stevie. Me he oh. Tell me he wouldn't. Tell me he still couldn't do it. Tell me he still couldn't do it. <laughs> I mean, I mean, the goal could have got it. Cal. The vision's so. crazy. The vision is crazy. Look at him. He's got everything. He's still got everything <laughs> apart from pace. <laughs> You're not sleeping on it. I remember when I said Graham and Birch. So I remember when I said Gakpo playing the number eight. I got laughed at. I got laughed at. Gerard's homegrown as well. Clock get it done, man. I would have heard it. I would have. I would have heard it six months ago. Not now. No. Sorry, three right. months ago. Now's not the now. best time. Now's the best time. When we had our crisis, injury crisis, I hundred percent heard. Ten it, minutes at now. the end of a game is all he needs. You know, ten minutes. I oh, get God. him. Oh, that right back. Oh, it's a ball. They got anyone running in the box? Gone. 
<laughs> Listen, Ram, to be fair, we could just drop Tiago and just replace him with Gerard right now to give us 15. Oh, look at that pass. Oh, look at that ball. Oh, that ball <laughs> that was the oh, Elza. No, that, that was Agar. I don't think that was Stevie. That was Agar. I know Bill's in his car oh, in his oh, back. <laughs> Another one I wish Klopp you had. Me 10 minutes at the end of a game for Gerard. You tell oh, me. Oh, Bishkan. Macau, we can't be giving oh, Peter Bishkan minutes. Bishkan's feeling that It's got to be full 90. Nah, he can't play a four, full 90 at 44 years old round. That's not fair. Come on. If he can't, then I'm sorry. We, 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 can't, we can't have him in the team. It's quite no simple. shade here. <laughs> but... I mean, from a technical aspect, what can't he do? That's from a physical act, attribute, no, how would no, no, he keep no, up? No, Jeff, Jeff, I didn't, we, we didn't speak about physicality because it's 10 minutes, isn't it? But Cal, if you can't play 10 minutes in a game, if you can't, you have to play 90 minutes, it's a 90 minute game. No, but he doesn't have to play 90. He's he's the fifth sub, in it? He's the one that Klopp looks at and goes, right, 3-2, we need to close it off and get a goal on a break. Stephen. All right, Cal, I'll ask you this then. What can Stevie do at this age that Milner couldn't do at 36? Who the hell distance. is this? Oh, like a ball from distance. Wow. Fred, Fred and I have a needle <laughs> card. Who is that guy? So that's so we like we just hope that Gerald got a shot from distance, otherwise he would be oh, non existent. Rest. Breath the crab no, in the I'm, chat. You can't I'm look at him. Oh, did he just get look at him? He won the ball back. He won the ball back. <laughs> oh wow. Rasta. He's gone. He's off. Oh, it's I'm over. You can't say that, man. Well done, boys. It's, game. it's over. Well <laughs> done. Nothing great. Seconds and I think he who gets man of the match? Uh, um, Dirk. wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I would have said either Aga, or... yeah, Aga, or oh, um, Dirk, 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 Dirk for me. Dirk, I, I'd Dirk. actually, do you know what? I'd actually give man of the match a biscan for just being alive. That's what I'm saying. He's like his last leg, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, love no, love no, 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 should we give it to Torres for having the balls to come back to Anfield? No. No, he's loved there, isn't he? It's crazy. If Sterling yeah, what is all that about? Get Torres gets two. Why was he getting so much love, seriously? <clears throat> well, it's the same thing I thought about Coutinho and our fan base, but hey-ho. Like, in my opinion... Luke Tanner. He's at the game. Oh, he's got the Torres <laughs> fan club around him. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna blame Luke. <laughs> Luke's at the game, man. He's in the cop. Yeah, he's loving it. Do you, do you lot reckon the reason why Torres stayed on for so long is because Ericsson always wished he had him as a player, so now he was enjoying having him while he was managing now? Maybe. Yeah. I don't I know if so. there's any other strikers on the bench. I know one thing. Well, Cisse only got bench. like 25 minutes, didn't he? Oh, I see. Family. I see a certain Lee in the chat. Yeah, and he asked. What did he say? Question. Talking he foolishness as usual. What did he, and he say? Asked him a question. That's our last win. Lee, are you <laughs> Lee? Are you going to win the title this season? No, he's not. What did Lee? Ger Gerard starts in Arsenal's midfield. How about that? He starts over Kai Havertz. How about that? <laughs> Gerard has more technical oh, yeah. ability than all of Arsenal midfielders combined. Gerard, this version of Gerard starts over Kai Havertz. How about that? I said it. It's out there. I said it with chess. <laughs> Look at him, man. He's the one you just know you've been cheering on Stevie bracking up the DJ, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie, Stevie got a decent bit of technique on him. I can't lie. <laughs> I said it more technique than your than the entire Arsenal midfield, man. Okay, Lee got a good, good comeback there. Good comeback yeah, but Guna says that they're gonna win the league, but he he already know deep down they're not. They're gonna bottle it once once again. Guys, so, so, 
guys, how does Biscay look older and thin? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Biscay uh, the one who looks ill. Biscay proper looks like he's going through it, you know. Man, he's a man. Yeah, man, he's a, time oh, is, is yeah, he, he's yeah, he's taking a, managing quite oh, yeah. hard, man. It does a lot to you, man. It does a lot to you as a manager. I reckon I'd last about a month as a manager for Liverpool, you know. And we got to be honest. we got to be honest. No disrespect, but it must have been a hard life being called Igor. Igor! Igor just reminds me of Count Duckula. Do you remember Count Duckula? <laughs> and, and Nanny. Igor! <laughs> Oh, oh, oh man! Oh, oh man! Poor Eagle! Poor Oh man! I go, I no lie though, it does look like Biscan's wife has sucked in completely dry. <laughs> <laughs> hey, of course. So gone. <laughs> so so I like, finished love. I finished. Don't keep going. <laughs> what we say? What we Stop saying? Shanks in settings. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jamie's been on fire today. Oh my god. Well, Jamie, who, oh. Hoover settings? Huh? Hoover settings? Huh? Just pure section. <laughs> oh, oh man. Oh man. Oh, oh man. I like, finished. Nickname died ago. She's still there. <laughs> Drift, to answer oh, your question, man. who would you have in the midfield three of Klopp's, of Klopp's tenure then? Klopp's all-time midfield three? Yeah. I think it would be... I could I change my mind on this in the future, but I think it would be... I bet you Flacco. Oh, no. Ability, yes, but not in terms of what we achieved. Um, I would say Flacco, Genie, McAllister would be Klopp's wow. best midfield. That would yeah. be mine too. I've got one for wow. you. What is Klopp's, what is Jurgen Klopp's greatest 11 out of his three clubs? Oh, that's easy. Oh, Allison and goal. And then you've got Robert at left back, Hummels and Van Dijk at centre yeah. back, Trent. Trent, Trent at right back. You got it would probably be a double pivot of Gundogan and Fab. Fabinho, I think. Yeah. Then you've got a right wing, Mo Salah. Left yep. wing. Mane. 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 Yeah, Mane. So. Down in the middle. You've got uh, to fit Royce Lewandowski, Lewandowski, man. In the 10, it will be Lewandowski. Firmino. Is it Coutinho or Goetze? Or Firmino? Nah, I'll put Firmino. No, nah, it's got to be Lewandowski. Lewandowski. Rice was left wing. Rice never. No, but I'm saying we've got to find a place for a in, a, in a Klopp eleven. Surely you, you taking Mane out? No, but I'll play Royce <laughs> in the <a> ten. <laughs> Bravi, Royce never played ten for him. It was Gus or ten. It was under Tuchel. He played as a ten. No, but Royce can play ten though. But he didn't though, bro. It's definitely Lewandowski up front. Bobby in the ten. One hundred percent. Bobby in the ten would be different gravy. I, I, you can't leave Royce out of that eleven, though, guys. You can't. Someone's gonna get dropped. You take. Someone's gonna get dropped, bro. I dare you to say. I dare you to say you're taking from me out of the team. I dare you. I dare you. Go on. <laughs> I dare, I dare you. I dare you. I, I'm not Drift, taking him out. And put... then for me, though, in the same show. No, no. Fifty chance violence. This fifty chance violence. I just didn't put him in. I don't think Bobby makes it. Bruh, I've really done something to you. I don't know what, but I've done something to you. Sorry. <laughs> cool. First to Gerard Slander, <laughs> now Bobby. All right, cool, cool. <laughs> this is no slander, bro. Uh, this is no slander. Bobby, you're taking Bo Bobby. Wow. Wow. Rosie can go on the bench. Royce can go on the bench. <laughs> It'd be First your own time. people, man. It'd be your own people. Nah, come on. 
Royce has to be in. He has to. So what about Rabon? if Royce has played? If Royce Rabon has played at dude. least thirty games at Cam, I'll put him in ten. Yeah, Drift ain't looking good, bro. Roberto was he? It was the glue. If it wasn't for him, Mane and Salah would have been fighting every week. Yeah, but the difference is Lewandowski can do what Firmino did and score goals, Carl. Then imagine Bobby doesn't have to do the hold-up play and Bobby can just create and arrive late in the box and score goals as well. Yeah. That would be cool. I'm hurt. But, but, but Royce also had injury issues, bro. So why you want him in there? <laughs> no, but we're just talking about everyone at their peak, innit? Because obviously, yeah, I, I get that. He is mad injury prone. <laughs> Drifty under clock, he only right. played about Lewandowski. 20 times at Cam. Yeah, I know, but he still Does played. Lewandowski, for him, Mane, and Salah work. Yeah. Does Lewandowski, oh, Salah, yeah, and Mane yeah, work? Yeah, yeah, it does. Yeah, 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 hundred percent, hundred percent. Lewandowski could score facilitate. less goals because of Mane and that. Now he'll score less goals, but he'll still get his fair share. No, guys, he wouldn't. He'd score the same amount. He'd just get more assists. No, but people, people, people forget that. Levin Lewandowski is also a very good creator as well. He doesn't have yeah. to, he didn't have to do it because he had Muller next to him, but he can do it himself. Lewandowski, oh, Salah, and Mane would be a fucking right. cheat code. Yeah. Yeah, it would be. If we, if we, we have Muller, man, the right fire. Yeah, 100%. If we, you see, when Lewandowski went to Bayern Munich, if we had more pull under Klopp at that time, I genuinely think we could have got him. Yeah, me too. Mm. If no, if we had more money, because it no, would have been about no, he left on a free drift. No, but like wages and stuff, we'd have had to do something to help encourage him. Do you know what I mean? Maybe, but we we didn't have the pool at the time, or like a Mars bar or something like that. <laughs> 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 you can imagine John W. Henry. Really. What do you want? Give him some fruit. <laughs> but I say you, you get a fat bird in your bed, don't you? You just throw a Snickers on the pillow. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> what do you want, man? You want money? Go and get some fruit. Go and get some from kitchen. Oh, my day. Jamie, I don't know how you ain't had your channel shut down yet, bro, but well played, bro. Well played. <laughs> YouTube know me now. I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> Oh my days! Oh man! <laughs> no, I just don't think I just don't think Pete Royce can be left out of that eleven. I'm sorry, I don't think he can. But, but I don't think Klopp had Pete Royce. No, but I'm just I'm just well, guys. Pete Gertz was a problem. Yeah, no, it was. So was, so was, was. Pete Firmino though, Carl. I, 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 to be oh, fair, to be fair, obviously it's my team. To be fair, Liverpool's He's my team as well, Carl. Friend. Well, yeah. Firmino and Lewandowski together, Carl. Oh, it's curtain. I don't think that works, Liverpool. if I'm being honest. Oh, drifty, man. <laughs> Liverpool's front three and Mane, Bobby and Mane. I see what's happening here. Do if you're trying to ruin my weekend and you're doing a fantastic job of it, I'm not going to lie. Guys, what actually, what, what actually happened to Gertz? Sir? What actually happened to Gertz? Sir? He had he something had a, got ill, had, didn't um, he? He had a muscle, condition. Um, yeah, muscle condition. Yeah, muscle condition. He had like a, a no, he had like a no, he had like a um like a stomach condition. Where yeah, he had like a really bad process, stomach condition. Food, food couldn't process, be processed properly, um, Jeez. and he would put on Stop. a lot of weight. Quickly. That way, yeah. yeah, the weight gain was from the steroids, right? Minute he was on like all yeah. these steroids, counteract the disease that he had. Yeah. Oh, I know that. Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything about steroids. It's actually a shame because he was so talented, Gerson. Oh, he's brilliant. Yeah. Is it his thyroid? Yeah, is it his thyroid? No, nah, that was Ronaldo. Is it his thyroid? That was Ronaldo. Ronaldo. I mean, maybe he had a thyroid issue as well. By the way, but oh, the general said it was a thyroid problem with him as well. By the way, um, oh, is not a massive two... fan of Pep Guardiola. Is he, he doesn't not? like he don't like Pep. And he was Robin. And he was Robin. Robin hates him as well. Now that is Ibrahimovic. And right. he won and Gundawan Gundawan's played under Pep and Klopp and prefers Klopp. Gundawan's the one we should have signed. 
Now, nah, I don't know what Klopp issues. was thinking with that. I don't know what Klopp was thinking with that. Nah, but, but Kyle, he had injury issues at that point. He had very, very bad injury issues. He did, but look how we got over him. Yeah, I was going to say, Thiago had injury issues before we signed him and Klopp was still on board with it. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's no, well, to be fair, the season that he won the championship with injury free, Kyle. Yeah, maybe, but like, Gun remember, Gundogan called Klopp and he was just shocked and he was like, yeah, I'm leaving Dortmund and he was expecting Klopp to be like, yeah, I'm in for you and Klopp was just like, oh, all the best with the future and he was just like, rock. <laughs> 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 no, no, but you guys, wasn't there some kind of thing that came out where Klopp said, as much as he adores people he's had, he doesn't really like going back take, and doing that? He can't that. take him out. Yeah, he can't, he can't take him from that. his previous team. He doesn't do that. Yeah, like he doesn't like to do that kind of like, you know, taking old players kind of thing. It was like he had like an interview with a bunch of like Liverpool youngsters and one of them asked him to buy Marco Royce. But he had like a thing where he just doesn't buy from his previous clubs. Yeah, Klopp, so. Klopp's that geezer that gets a really bad birthday present and pretends he likes it. Klopp, Klopp's <laughs> he gets, he gets like a bar of soap and be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I always wanted yeah, this. Like, a this is the greatest bar of soap I've ever had in my life." <laughs> <That's always> right, <laughs> <laughs> and he forgets oh, to think know. about the fact that it's like, "Did you buy this because you think I stink?" Or yeah. like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why I always say when I get when I get like Lynx Africa every single Christmas, I do ask the question: "Is this ain't wrong with my body odor?" <laughs> <laughs> it's something wrong with it. What are you trying to tell me? I just thought uh, Christmas now I smell. That's why I want to Yeah, Ericsson's speaking. He's 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 incurable if I'm not mistaken, isn't he? He's stage four, right? Yeah, yeah. He's terminal. He's not good. He, he oh, does come well with well. Yeah, he does. You can he does. see is it, his, is his, it pancreas? his treatments made his face swell, you can see it. Mm. Yeah, is it is it pancreatic he has in it? I think so. So yeah, because it has no symptoms, thing. does it? And when you catch it, it's usually too late, isn't it? No, it's a brain tumor, isn't it? Ain't it a brain tumor? Is it is it a brain tumor? I thought it was pancreatic. I can't remember. Not sure. I know they caught it late. Who's, I tell you what's really sad it? about it is when he was talking and he was saying that his dad is still alive. Can you imagine? Oh, that's your the worst thing. Nah, but you, but you, got 70s, but you still die before your dad. Imagine how his dad's gonna feel, man. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't live in that world. Mm. Yeah, I'm it was pan it's pancreatic cancer for him. Yeah, he's got stage mm. four. Yeah, pancreatic. and when you catch, because there's no oh, symptoms, boy. you usually catch it too late, don't you? That's a problem. A man, yeah. that's me. Was, I, I don't even my know. dad out I before I go. Yeah. <laughs> What did your pancreas was, I've lost my dad out before I go, so he goes before me because I ain't gonna get it done for him. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going first. <laughs> Steve is going to be hot. All right, dad, I need to talk to you in the garden shed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm can't hear this. I'm can't hear this. Steve, Steve would probably do that to me. <laughs> oh, His dad is Oh, wow. Blood. You, you see that comment? Stevie's played more minutes at Anfield than Thiago this season. No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, he wow. Oh. <laughs> Bitter and Thiago as well. Don't, don't, don't set Cal off now. That's no, I'm not, say, I'm not saying a word, man. I'm not saying a word. I'm not saying Cal, a word. Cal, you look not appreciate Cal, Thiago, a, man. A Stevie no, Abradi problems. Is that <laughs> Stevie Abradi problems? No, nope. <laughs> Griff is not no, really a That's the if problem. If you replace, if you replace Gerard with Thiago this season, we'd have got more out of Gerard than we've got to, out of Thiago. Oh, that's, that's true. true. You yeah. like you, you, you <laughs> like the, 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 You know how high the, I rate Thiago Drift, but it's true. Well, apparently not. <laughs> but, but Drift, how, how many minutes yeah. Thiago has played this season? How many minutes in total? About 60, drifty, this is 50. drifty. This is this is payback for for you saying stuff about Firmino and it's TV today. Yeah. Big up, big up, ends man TV. Go subscribe to his channel. Drift, question for you: Would you give him another year? Nah, I wouldn't. Oh my god, god. You, de you deliberated it. <laughs> 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 nah, Drift. <laughs> no, Drift. 
No, okay, all right, hold on, hold on. If you give him till the summer to just fully get over the injury, then maybe next year could be a different situation. Nah. That ain't going to change. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't even give that man a birthday card, let alone a contract. <laughs> Listen, I, I'd fly to the UK and drive him to the airport myself. <laughs> You, 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 don't, don't, you, you, you don't appreciate Drift, talent. Drift, Drift, yeah, has a lot of like, you know, what he he holds his players very dearly, but if they do betray him, he has a lot of fine <laughs> for them. <laughs> no, I it's, really it, like, it, it goes through different There's a thin line, right? A very thin line between love nah, and hate, bro. You, you go through different, different stages of grief, Drift, because you'll when a player leaves, you'll still have that love for them, and then randomly one day you'll just turn on them. And no one will see it coming. You'll just, bam. You will be speaking about the player, and you'll be like, "Yeah, f that player." And me and Matt are just like, "Raw." Like a week ago, you were calm about it. No, no, no. Could have slept with my brother's sister or something. <laughs> I'm like, "Raw." <"Rah." laughs> <laughs> like, "Raw." Cool. Like you got your stages of grief. Like they just go boom, boom. Like there's no in between. It's just happiness and love for the player when they've gone, and then hatred forever. Whereas they I just the good. moment they the moment they lift up another score, I'm I'm, I'm I'm a baller's baller, and I like I I appreciate skill and and that that I'm I haven't been dragged oh, into this. He's doing like, the he's doing the eye test. Systematic. Now. Everybody's too systematic now. You know, regiment oh, robots. We cut Rafa for this. That. We cast Rafa for this. You don't want robots. You don't want players who express themselves and have got flair and skills. The you look just like on the bench. Uh, Tiago can't express himself in the medical room. <laughs> well, I watch a lot of behind the scenes stuff, and it's just good to see him there. All right, <laughs> Tiago just hanging around. So you want him to get the Adrian con contract, basically? Well, if Adrian can do it for three years, Tiago should be able to do it for the rest of his life. Yeah, Adrian that's probably. Available. Yeah, that's probably. Adrian yeah, was always I, available. Adrian just got paid. Think wait to be a dj for three years like I come on man. my dream yeah i, I know my dream of course so why can't tiago do that because tiago is going to be four times as expensive per week and we don't well, even we know if he's taking music's good all right all right let me ask you look this question then yeah if it didn't affect the quota in any way shape or form with homegrown any of that stuff and Tiago was willing to go down to 60 grand a week. Would you give him another year? No. <laughs> well, then that means it's Thiago's not about like, the wages. Tiago's like, <laughs> no. like, like an expensive escort. You know what I mean? It, it, that's oh, no. that's, what, oh, that's no. what he is right now. That's what he is right now. It's just an expensive escort. He He's looks the part, feels the part. But yeah. I was about to say, I'm kind of glad Jamie didn't go deeper into that. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm a man of culture, Cal knows. I'm a man of culture. <laughs> man of culture. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about man of culture. Talking about man of culture. Who's the woman doing the interview? Is that Chelsea? Chelsea Grimes, isn't it? Chelsea Grimes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Who is that? She, I think she does. <laughs> she did radio hosting, I think, and then transition. Yeah, she, I swear she, she's done some other stuff as well, like YouTube yeah. kind of stuff. Football, or man of culture see. anyway. Man of culture. <laughs> <laughs> a musician, I think, in it. A singer, I think. Oh, I don't even know. Only capacity man, like, oh, like, well, our squad is a is a coach. That's fine. Nothing. Yeah, else. So what so what Tiago stayed as a captain? As a what side drift? What if Tiago stayed on as a player coach? Would you not accept that? Well, he'd just be a coach, though. He'd just be a coach for me. Not you know, registered to just play in case needed, no? You know what Tiago should be? A paramedic. Because he knows how to help people quite quickly, you know what I mean? Drift, Tiago <laughs> hips can't lay anymore, man. They're done. Tiago, <laughs> <laughs> like, right. like, but we can't trust Tiago to play 10 games a season, though. We can't. Can't trust no, him to play 10 Give the man a chance to get boy, over the injury, man. I'd, I'd be more willing to give Matip a new contract than Thiago. Oh, wow. Oh, drifty. Oh, I mean, I can understand the logic behind that. Pot has been stirred. 
Actually, no, no, I can't, Cal. Actually, that's crazy. <laughs> a 33-year-old coming off an ACL. A 33-year-old coming off of an ACL versus a 32-year-old who's almost recovered from hip surgery. You'd give it to almost the ACL. Recovered. Almost drift. It's been a year. He is almost recovered. Drift, it's been a calendar year, bro. Yeah, so he's at the end of his recovery. We don't even know if Matic will ever play again. But we don't know. Right, here's a question. Gonna... Here's a question. Here's a question. What do we see first? A Conor McGregor fight or Thiago playing football again? Conor McGregor. Fucks. Oh, if do you know what, actually, because Thiago might go somewhere else and another club might play him. <laughs> it might be Thiago. I watched a Conor McGregor interview yesterday and he don't look in a good way at all. No, 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 no. He would have faced money. Yeah, yeah. Twitching and... He's a he's a yeah, movie yeah. superstar. His money changed him. He doesn't. He cares about the money only. He's living that hundred grand a week life on the yacht that like I explained earlier. That's what he's doing. Man. Yeah, <laughs> he is. That's what he's doing. Cal, I'll ask you the same question that I asked like earlier. Jamie's answer was absolutely hilarious. Would you rather be a absolute average people that ever remember you played football footballer? But for your entire career, you earned 100 grand a week? Or would you rather finish as messy in terms of your status, but you only earn 20 grand a week? Oh, um, 100 grand. Yes. Wow. Oh, so you've been nobody on 100 grand. Oh, yeah. Out with me on the yacht. <laughs> right, right, so what I can go to Tesco and no one recognize me, but I'm but I can buy no, the no, no, no. Tesco. Yeah, yeah, I'm good. Cal, bro. Cal, we're not we're not in Tesco, man. We, we are living on a yacht in the men's. No, 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 Jamie, I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I'm still in Tesco, bro. Like, <laughs> 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 like, when I'll, I say I'll, I'm FSG in real life, I'm FSG in real life. Bro. Now, but Cal, my, Cal, my thinking behind it was if we get the 20k and we get a, a better career and we arguably better than Messi. Then people will be asking us for interviews, and we could be charging like two hundred million for an interview um, or something I like that. I don't want to do it. Yeah, but if I'm someone like Messi, that means I've got to pay my tax. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm, I'm avoiding it. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now, it don't have to be multiple interviews; just one interview, Cal. Two hundred million. One from the age of eighteen, down. from the age of eighteen to thirty-five, I'm earning a hundred k a week. Right, and no one really knows who you are. Thirty-five, and and I can walk around casually. My, yeah, my but then you get you get that money back in the future, set. though, Cal. Bro, my future is bright as long as I live. <laughs> like, <laughs> my future is bright. I'll have a box at Anfield. All you lot will be invited whenever you want. Bayesian Barnes, I'll fly up. Bunny, I'll have a house in Barbados as well. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, Drift. They accomplished on the road, people. Wait, Drift, on, <laughs> on that question, yeah, do you still yeah. play football like, on a regular, but you just no one knows you, but you still win trophies, you win, still win stuff? Yeah, like, like you're like Titus Bramble. Oh, that's not average. <laughs> that's, a, that's the bad, <laughs> Drift. That's bad. <laughs> you say Titus Bramble. That's <laughs> below average. <laughs> no, no, I'm not. Street, no, I don't mean. I thought you meant like I don't a, mean your, a horror, I don't mean your ability. I mean, in terms of people recognizing you and caring about you, or ever talking. No, 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 no. But yeah. when you when you were playing, you were still play, You're still like a first team player, but you still just. Oh yeah, you was you you was drink water. Yeah, I take that. Yeah. I'll take that all day long, yeah. Because I, I, I wouldn't drink. recognize Danny Drinkwater if he walked past me now. Would anyone else? Neither would I. Yeah. No, I wouldn't. I'll no. take that right now. Like I said, one right interview, now. 200 million pounds. Sorted, man. Sort of for life. You say 200 million pounds for one interview? <laughs> well, 200 million. Who are you selling the rights to, bro? <laughs> <laughs> like... I just, during, cool. my play, during my playing career, I just don't do interviews. I'd just be like, nah. No, that sounds money. like a net contract in 2012, bro. <laughs> <laughs> 3012. Now, you know, I'd be, I'd be, you know, I'd be, I'd be one of the, I'd be, a, I'd be a football grass, and I'd write a book about all the footballers that are done wrong that no one knows about, and bring it out and socialise it, <laughs> but no one knows who I am. That's what. Oh I'm my days, man! Silly being a football superhead, you know, mad thing. <laughs> <laughs> Out, 
And you know what he called the book? Kiss and Tell on my yacht. <laughs> all the football that I've had on my yacht and the shit they get up to. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You better bad boy. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Hey, Jamie's been on fire today, I swear to you. Oh, man. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, Jamie's been on you. absolute That's what I call it. Yacht tales. Knew it was in the game. <laughs> the atmosphere of the cop was a brilliant. Big up Luke. Yeah. Oh, but was Luke there? Yeah, Luke was at the game. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. He's in the cop. Ah, wicked, wicked. We've actually tried to get tickets a few times. It's harder than you think it is. Yeah. Actually, I um I was looking at it the other day. Me and Pops was talking about it, and we actually saw tickets in the cop in. Yeah, there was like, and it was actually reasonable. Yeah, okay. it it wouldn't it, you wouldn't be able to get either. tickets together at this time though. You'd have to get if you like the thing is when you if you try and get it straight away, you usually can. Yeah, yeah. like if you do it from early, isn't it? I'll be honest, if, if I go to one of these games and I meet Gerard, I'd lose it. You see how professional I can be when it comes to interviews and stuff, forget all of that. Someone else is holding yeah, the camera I and I'm like I can imagine. I, I can imagine ban out. You know what I would have done? I would have ignored Stevie. I would have ignored Stevie and gone straight to Biscan. Just to piss him off. <laughs> <laughs> ignored him and gone straight to Biscan. And I'd, I'd literally get him into a corner and ask him if he's all right. You know, what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> you don't look well, mate. You need any help? Who's after you? Just tell me. <laughs> I'll take you to my yacht. You'll be safe. You know? <laughs> You can imagine Jamie offering him a super malt or something, but like, but you need some vitamins, bro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's good. No, poor Biscay. We were looking oh, at man. tickets for the Europa final, and oof, talk about yeah, steep. And you can't find a hotel. You know, if we get if we get to the Europa final, Beijing, yeah, me, Matt, and Cow are going to Ireland, and we don't care whether we have tickets or not. We're just going for the vibe. You see, I would do that, but where are you going to stay, bro? Because all the hotels are booked out. I already checked bro. already. Streets? Yeah, bro. We'll run a team now. <laughs> we'll do what we got. Airbnb yeah, settings. Airbnb settings. We can just put a tent up, bro. <laughs> the Listen, went I, 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 I would be on that, boy. I ain't going to lie. If you guys Paul. do that, I'd do that. I'd hop we on just a into Paul. On. We should just... Um, Get an air, like a massive Airbnb, just watching like some big ass screen. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Lakers has got a good point. Cal, we saying we just rent a camper van, bro. We can just sleep where we park, bro. Above, I'm cool, bro. Like, it's, it's, it's weird there. I'm good, man. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Well, or we can just sleep in the car. The two in the front can put the seat down, and the man in the back can get in the boot, bro. <laughs> Easy, bro. <laughs> as long as I've got my case of apple juice. Not what it looks like. It's not what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine, imagine you know, the window? Three black, three black guys in Dublin just on a random like there's you, someone in the booth. Oh my god, no, it can't happen. It can't happen. You got someone in the booth. You got someone in the booth. <laughs> you got someone in the booth. How do you explain oh, this, we guys? Know it, you yeah, we know explain? it. You got a guy in the booth. There's Jamie in the, the boot. Help me! Help me! You got a guy in the boot. You got a man in the boot. You got a man in the boot. You can't let this go. You can't let this go. You got a man in the boot. Jesus. Right, let me show you. All right, Aaron, don't give me a joke, bro. Big up, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. <laughs> uh, no, do you know what? It'll be joke, though. It'll be joke. Like, we got to do it. For real, there'll be a big screen somewhere, surely. Yeah, well, but apparently, they're going to have a second stadium for the fans with showing the game on the big screen. Yeah, the, oh, like the a fan zone. Yeah. Yeah, park, and we'd, 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 have, we'd, we'd get Cal drunk, we'd trick him into thinking it's black apple, apple juice. juice, but really, we'll be giving him a Guinness. No, you know no, no, I mean? we'll give him like it'll be like sparkling apple juice, then 
I'll be worried. <laughs> I'll be like, Carol, <laughs> black <laughs> We're on stream talking about spiking my drink, guys. After you just said we're gonna sleep in the boot, bro. Like, we could really get shut down today. <laughs> <laughs> so you're giving <laughs> Cal black apple juice and you're gonna put him in the boot. <laughs> 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 This could be the last picture we ever see, bro. (laughs) Cal just jumps out of the boots and leg it, and he's just in his pants. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, no, no, that would be mad. You know, I'd go to Argos. I'd go to Argos, get an inflatable mattress, sit outside of Tesco in Dublin, and just watch it on my phone. <laughs> Get a couple of cans of white lightning out of Tesco. Yeah, I'm a white man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> the quid all in, son. <laughs> Take a quilt with you if it gets a bit cold. <laughs> oh, man. Endsman says Question for the panel If you're all managers of a team in the same league, what league would it be? And what team would you be manager of? And who gets relegated? And who wins the league? Well, Based on football we, manager. Me and my boys used to do this back in the day. This is how you know times have changed. We used to pick Italy as the league, and we'd all be Italian teams. So we'd be Inter, Parma, AC, Juve, and I think it was Lazio was the other one. I used to do that. Drift. I used to do that on Sensible World of Soccer. Me and the boys on oh, Sensible World game. of Soccer back in the day. Yeah, yeah, we big game. That. If we were doing now, it would that, be the Premier League. It'd be Prem now because it's the Prem's got the more teams now, isn't it? Yeah, Italy in the nineties, man, was different. Probably Prem. Italy in the 90s, mm. Different. Prem. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be Prem for sure. It'd be what prem. team you you manage it, Drift? It can't be Liverpool. Uh, well, I'm guessing we'd have to say Liverpool can't be the team because we'd yeah. all pick Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah. So outside say, of Liverpool, I'll, it'd listen, be. I say outside me, of the top six, Drift. Outside of the top six. I'd pick Newcastle. That would be my team. Um, I'd go Aston Villa. I was about to say Villa as well. I'll, go I'll take Crystal Palace in there. You can take Villa. I take Crystal Palace. I'll get West Ham. I go Brighton. The Brighton's a shout. I ain't touching him, Jordies. Jesus. <laughs> Pack it up. I got an affiliation there. It's a nice Pack city it. to live in All as right. well. West Ham. Yeah, West Ham. West Ham. Nice Pack it up. I'm sorted. Yeah, I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be outside Birmingham. Yeah, why not? <laughs> I'm staying in, I'm staying in Fort Neath, man. I'm going Palace. <laughs> yeah, I'm moving from West London to Cal just goes home after the night. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally, just drive home. How was the day, babe? Yeah, lost again. Who, who out of us lot <laughs> would get relegated and who would win the league? Well, if he's Palace, I mean, I'd I'd get relegated in purpose, me. I've won a World Cup. <laughs> Oh, I oh, think I might have chuck with the league. Yeah, do you know what? Actually, I'm gonna change my team. I'll be West Ham. Because I sound like West a hammer. Ham, no, Ram said we're we uh, West Ham. Yeah, but I sound more like a hammer than Ram. Let's be fair. <laughs> <laughs> if if that's the case, I'll happily I'll happily move over to Brentford. I'll go and move over to Brentford. Which no, Ram, you wouldn't even go for Forest for Dad, no, Rams. You wouldn't even do Forest for Dad. But I'll get no, relegated. I'll Forrest, I'll say, get relegated hundred <laughs> percent if I'm with Forrest. You know, Cal, you know Robbie me it's say. getting relegated. No, I'd be yeah, but oh, no, hey, wait, 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 Cal, 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 I'll ask you this question, yeah. Can you name me five players from Forest that are actually good? Currently, uh, um yeah. Morgan Gibbs White, Mali- um Marillo is what the centre back that, that we're good. after. Oh good, that are good. So I'll give no, you Marilla, Marilla, Marilla. Well, name me two. Right. Origi. Origi. That's two. Give him Sangara. Sangara is good. Barely Who's the centre back that's really good? What's that centre back that's really Marilla. good for us? Yeah, he's a good player. Ram, what is your what does your dad think of Yates? Works hard. He's a fuck. He ain't a footballer. He's a fuck. <laughs> He works hard, that's it. Oh, I thought you, when you said Ram, what does your dad think of Yates? I thought you meant the pub. I thought you meant the pub. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the only Yates is I know. Absolutely. Uh, I'll, I'll probably if, if, if Jamie wants West Ham, I'll, I'll take Brentford then. West London. 
staying with Sunderland. Brentford are a good team, man. Brentford are a good team. Uh, Jam, is Klopp in the top five coaches of all time in the Premier League? Oh, yeah. 100%. Yeah. We had I'm going to say something chat about well. it yesterday. If he wins the Prem this season and the Europa when, League as well, when he wins I think he goes into top three. When he wins is right. At this moment in time, I put, I would say Fergie, Pep, Wenger, Mourinho, Klopp. Wenger can't be in there without a Champions League. He can't be top three without a Champions League, Jay. He can't. I'd, I'd go Mourinho ahead of Wenger. Yeah, I'd go Mourinho. Mourinho, I'd go Klopp ahead of Wenger. Yeah, Klopp, Wenger then, would be the last. Mourinho, Mourinho never won the Champions League when he played when he managed the English team. But he's done back to back, Jamie. Yeah, and he got yeah. the ninety-five points with fifteen goals conceded. That was insane. I still can't yeah, believe right, that. Put, yeah, I, I, and I'm I know Wenger is invincible. But actually, no, Wenger does have two doubles. Yeah, he does have two he does, doubles. He does. He does. 98 and 2001. Yeah. Two. Wenger yeah, would be four. four and Klopp fifth. Now, Wenger does go above Klopp unless Klopp uh, wins Gun- this year. Guna Lee, where's Wenger's Champions League trophy, mate? Come back to me when he, when he won one. All right, so here's the thing, though. Do we, do we where's not Arsenal's have to trophy? Add do we not have to add context to it, though? Because Pep, Fergie and uh, Mourinho... Were virtually given open checkbooks with the clubs that they were at, especially Mourinho. Mourinho literally had a foundation built. Pep, you'd also say, had a good foundation as well. Fergie had to build this from the ground up, but also had mad amount of money, and he had the referees in his back pocket. Mm-hmm. Wenger had to compete with those three. No, well, not Pep, but he had to compete with Mourinho and um, Fergie as well. Uh, and uh, he, I would he say built, he built Arsenal from the ground. Yeah, Ars- Wenger and Klopp have got a lot of similarities, I would say. They're very similar. Yeah. Klopp and, uh, and, they'll, and, they'll uh, never uh, have the uh, CV of the others, but when you break down what no. they've done for the game and what they've done, I, I, they have it's to amazing be the what they've done in the, the game. Other. That's yeah. why I've always held Arsene Wenger so highly. I think what he's done in the yeah. game is tremendous. Same with Klopp, what he's done in the game. But you know? I think what Mourinho's done, and I think maybe a lot of this influencing what he's done outside of England, but even when he was in England, you're still crazy, still crazy what he's done. 15 goals conceded in a season. 15. I oh, know that's 95 really. points. I think it's double 90 as well because he won it back to back in 05 yeah, to 06. 04 to 06. Sorry. Right. So, Jamrock's heartless today, man. Jamrock said no context needed. <laughs> said no context. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what? Wenger also did Invincibles as well. Say what you want about it. He went unbeaten. I do think that un- unbeaten thing is, is hyped up considering there's 12 draws there as well. But yep. he's got unbeaten. I don't That's think the Invincibles is a better season than the Centurions, though, personally. No, yeah, no a few, se- a no, few semi-finals and one final for UCL. What was it? I put Wenger fourth for, for me. Hey, if, 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 if Klopp does win a, the Premier League in Europa this season, then he, he jumps up above Wenger for me. Me too, yeah. I think, he, I think, I think oh, he jumps yeah. up above Mourinho <clears throat> in England. No, nah, I don't know in about In England. Mourinho. I in England, in England, yeah, but no, in no, England, Mourinho. Yeah. Over, if we're talking Mourinho overall, Mourinho overall is ahead of Pep Guardiola for me. He might be, but in terms of in terms of England, what three Premier League to two Premier Leagues, one Champions League to zero Champions Leagues, what three? I think he went two FA Cups with Chelsea. Was it three? Well, I'm also including United as well. Yeah, so it's. Two FA Cups. He won a Europa as well, didn't he? Won a Europa with yeah. Chelsea United. Won Europa with Liverpool. He won four League Cups to Klopp's two League Cups. But we've won a Super Cup and a Club World Cup. Yeah. So you got to show up your Rams. Yeah, Klopp would if he wins another Prem and he wins a Europa this year, would jump ahead of Mourinho. Yeah, you might. Then he yeah, goes up. Yeah, right. But yeah. You could argue Jurgen Klopp, Liverpool under Jurgen Klopp when we were winning Premier League and Champions League in two years, were arguably the best team in Europe at the time. So, oh no, we were, we absolutely we were, we so, were, yeah. even, no, we were the best team yeah. in the world. We were the best yeah. team in the world. Yeah, at that time. But I, I look, I, I really rate Arsenal Wenger. I can't lie, you. and I, I really rate the man. What he so did at Arsenal, 
can't nah, be bon, 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 bon Arsenal Arsene Wenger because of their fan base. Bon Arsenal Wenger. I, I, do, I, mean, Arsenal. I hate I hate Arsenal fan base so much. I always wanted Arsenal Wenger as Liverpool manager. I always do. I, I, I rate Wenger, man. His eye for talent as well goes really unnoticed. He's got great eye for talent. That's the one thing I will always have something about Klopp. His eye for talent it could be so good or it could be so bad at the same time. I didn't, I'll tell you what Klopp's bad at, and no one ever brings this up, but this is what Klopp's bad at, buying squad players. I hear you on that one. Yeah. I think that's he's, Klopp's he's, weakness, buying squad he's players. One, well, he, he likes to have three great players and then the rest no as in that like three great players per like center backs and then obviously right back uh, right i would say center backs three great center backs a good right great right back great left back and just adequate replacements after that mm. other than that then it's just pretty squad, much mediocre squad depth. buying squad depth i think is Klopp's weakness he can buy an I, extremely talented 11 I don't think squad, buying the depth, depth is the problem. I think keeping the depth in rotation is the issue and not knowing when to get rid of them and refresh them is the issue. Because he's bought some good players, but he's held them for too long and they become stale because they're not playing enough or not given the trust. Lee, I would also ask you the question. When when you won the double, then that Arsene Wenger team, that team massively underachieved because they let United win a three-peat. Yeah, I was going to say, Lee, if, if we talk about underachievement, it is one of the biggest underachievements is Arsenal not winning a Champions League under Wenger. Oh, yeah. yeah like, that's Klopp, Klopp, and, Klopp literally won everything. He could win. Apart and from uh, not to mention yeah, you, that you Champions have, League final, he dominated you, that Champions League final. You, you have to ask questions of Wenger when it comes to European football. He was, at, he was at Arsenal for 21 years and played in a Champions League 21 years in a row. And he made one final and never won the competition. That's terrible. And that, that's actually yeah. terrible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you, 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 have to, you have to say, like, that's terrible. And the thing is, Arsenal fans who want to, who want to argue in defence of Wenger will be the same ones pointing fingers at Guardiola saying if he hadn't won the Champions League with City, then he was a failure. So, like, make it make sense. There's bare contradictions in that. Yeah. So, 21 years and never won a Champions League and made one final. That's abysmal. Well, one that's one actually final abysmal. and two semi finals. Yeah. Yeah. That's that abysmal. Cool. And about last 16s, like not even court finals, like just literally out the first round of the knockout. That's and, getting, terrible. and getting clapped in those some uh, of those games. Yeah. Like a, se- a seventh say, of the time you've were, you got past, you got through to the semi final. That's a seventh. Uh, I That's will bad. say, I think they got a bit screwed in the final against Barcelona. I, I will. I don't. That. In what sense? Yeah, the referee. I, because I, I Bar- referee. Barcelona, if I was Barcelona, I would have taken the goal because they scored from Yeah, because, they yeah, because they would have been sent off and there would have been a goal down and a man down. It's the same argument I fans who try and cry about the goal goal. Chelsea, well, yeah. if, if, we don't, if we don't get the goal, then check sent off. You're down to I mean, 10 men in Gerard and we go and, one nil up anyway. And, and you heard Rafa say happened. about that. Rafa, Rafa, Rafa said he'd rather that. that happened. Yeah, Rafa had said he'd rather that have happened. Yeah, same. That we didn't get the goal, yeah. and it, they went down the ten men, and we got a penalty. You got the yeah, better. Yeah, you got the better. You got the better luck because it wasn't a penalty, and it was uh, a red card. And they scored. They literally did put the ball in the back of the net from that point. And they were all mm-hmm. they're all running off and celebrating, and they were saying like, "Why did you get rid of the goal? If you're going to get rid of the goal, you have got to send him off." Yeah, they were right. It was it was one or the other. Mm. Yeah, so I, I I don't I don't really think that you can look at it that way. But again, and to put it into perspective as well, even though Klopp hasn't won um, a lot of the finals he's been to, Klopp's been to four European finals in um, nine years at Liverpool. We've been been bumped. Bumped. We got bumped in a final. We got bumped oh, in a final. Seventeen, eighteen. We got France. bumped. <clears throat> oh, yeah. yeah, when uh, yeah, oh, that's I mean, Ram- you know, what madness. Ram- even though, um, win. even though Ferguson's an absolute legend, I still think only two wins in the Champions League in 26 years is terrible from, from Fergie as well. If I'm being honest, 26 years and you only won nah. it twice, so that's no, why, no why drift, drift. because the person, the only win. people that had when more than them, over, the they were a Champions League team. The only, the only team, the only time they, the 
the only people that had more Champions Leagues at that time was Ancelotti and Paisley with three. It showed how no, hard he, it was to win. But they didn't have hard 20, to win the European Cup. They, they did come up against probably the greatest club team we've ever seen. Though. And we Let's can't use yeah. it. And we uh, use the I'm same really. argument for Klopp. But that that Barca with Roma, team, yeah. that Barca team was oh jeez. I, I, I do think it's a bit weird though that they've only got two in 26. Like 26 attempts to win something, you only win it twice. It's still poor. I drifted in 08 09 when they won, went to the final. There's only two teams in, in Europe that could have stopped United from winning that tro- that Champions League, and that was Barcelona and us. Saying so that Bob Paisley yeah. got three in nine years. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. And he did back to back. Fergie's first nine years wasn't very wasn't very good either. A lot of people don't talk about that. No, it wasn't. In terms of winning exactly. trophies. He almost got sacked. He almost, he got, almost sacked. got sacked. Exactly. Do you know what? Football Gospers made a good point. Wenger doesn't even have excuses for not winning the Champions League because in their dominance, we won it. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. Well, the season after they dominated, yeah. Well, they didn't win a they didn't win a UEFA Cup either. No, but not even that. I could go one further, Drifty. Leeds United got ahead. Leeds United went further than them in their dominant yeah. era. Yeah, they did. They actually did. Oh, no, like, it's more, crazy more. to think. It's crazy Spurs to think the more. invincible team didn't do better in Champions League than Liverpool's Igor Bishkan in midfield team. That's crazy, isn't it? When you actually think about it. But yeah, we you lost the Europa. You lost, you lost the Europa in um, Chelsea. Back here, back to Galatasaray. Galatasaray beat you in Europa. Yeah, yeah they but... they lost they lost in Europa to Chelsea when we won the Champions League. Do you know what? Yeah, Jamba, I've just got to, I've just got to say this. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't agree with Klopp when he says this, but I do. You're in it to win it, a hundred percent. But you cannot say reaching a final isn't an achievement if you do it regularly, because it still proves that you have a level of dominance over a lot of the other teams. And for Klopp to have made the Champions League final three times in five years is massively impressive. Yes, you can make the jokes that he lost two of them, but I'm sorry, three finals in five years is massively impressive. Like, I, I find it very dismissive to act like, oh, but he didn't win it, so who cares? Three finals in five years, like... I don't know. That's barring two seasons he went to every season he's been in, barring two seasons, and one of them he wasn't even in Europe for, he's been to a European final. <clears throat> barring last season, and every time every season that Klopp's been where he was in a European competition, he got to the final. Do you know I will say though, it is amazing a team as big as Arsenal, because they are a giant on the side, they got no European history. I, I, I it's quite mad if you think about it's it. It's very minimal. Very minimal. Yeah. What, 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 well, here's the, more European here, history. I, I ask you lot the question, and I'm not asking you lot this to banter Arsenal. I'm asking you lot this to be honest. Can you truly be considered a big team without a European history? You can be considered a big team, but not you can't see it the elite. Not team. in Europe. Yeah, like, no. If you pretend, if you pretend like there's a massive round table, and you got representatives of England, Germany, Spain, France, and teams like that. They're not. They don't represent England. They're not at the table. So, like, and you yeah. pick, pick up, you can't represent your country then. Yeah, you no, can't represent. So like, easy, no, but, but if you talk about Cal, if we're talking about the the table, the the round table of Europe, yeah, you got Spain with Madrid and Barcelona, Italy with Juventus, Milan and Inter, Netherlands with well, Ajax, you... Germany with Bayern and Dortmund, England with United and and and, and Liverpool. They don't sit on that table. Does Chelsea well, and Man City at the table now? If you no. say, I still do say, if you do the top Chelsea 10, do. Chelsea if, you do, do. if you do the top 10 club not teams, no, not time, they need to win more leagues. What's the top 10 biggest football clubs of all time? Are Arsenal in the top 10? All right, so Barca, Real Madrid, no. Liverpool, Man Liverpool, United, United, Ajax, Ajax Bayern Ajax, Munich, Bayern. AC Milan, AC Milan, Juventus, Inter. Juventus, Inter. They might sneak in at number 10. Yeah. Now nah, Chelsea ahead Either of between them or Dortmund. Of all time, I'd say Arsenal above Chelsea. Yeah, Chelsea are relevant in the last 20 years. I'll give it to Arsenal. Have. 
been for a long time. I think Arsenal, oh, Arsenal, Arsenal sneaking at number 10. Hmm. Are we forgetting any French teams? Football Gospel just said Marseille. Marseille. Are we forgetting Marseille. French teams? No, I wouldn't well, have Marseille, Marseille but they haven't been around for quite Are a while. Forget? Is it a bit disingenuous Ooh, to forget? Well? Out, though. I ben wouldn't Fica. have. I'd have Arsenal tenth in that list. I'd have Arsenal tenth in that list, and I think that's a fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Top ten team of all time. I've seen anything wrong with that. The thing is, Arsenal can't talk to Liverpool, Man United. That's just a fact. Well, we look at that then, Jamie. We look at that then. Man. Would you say the gap between who is the tenth team? So, say we have like a, the ninth team. So we say I, oh, but Ajax are massive themselves. So I, I what about Atletico? Sorry to cut you around. What about Atletico? No, I think more fans around the world support Arsenal than Athletic. They ain't got a Champions League though, Cal. Very true. Yeah, well, yeah, so Arsenal are bigger than Arsenal, Atletico. Yeah. No, but Arsenal got 13 leagues. They've only got four, I think. Okay, cool. cool. What about City? City are not there yet, but they will be in about 10, 20 years' time. If they're not no one for... supports them. We watch their home games. Yeah. <laughs> if they're not done for corruption. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but the, gap, the, 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 the gap between 9 and 10 is, is massive ends man has got a point there Ajax yeah, Ajax is bigger yeah. Ajax is bigger Ajax is bigger then who Arsenal so Arsenal yeah, yeah. Top 10 then I didn't mention I didn't mention Ajax. Put Ajax in their list so yeah Arsenal don't I, I, thought, I, thought, you did. I, thought, I thought you did bro yeah, you no, you did Ajax. Did I mention yeah, that, bro? Oh, oh, yeah, you did. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Yeah. yeah, Lee's on the post. He's like, you mentioned Ajax, bro. You mentioned Ajax. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's on the you ropes. Right, he's got him on the ropes. This is not just about winning European Cups as well. It's about club it's heritage. Most important yeah. clubs. Yeah. Most me, important when it clubs. comes to club size, it look at you look at the trophies, domestic trophies, European trophies, <laughs> players that you've got, the players that represent your club. Also, I feel like is is not spoken about a lot. Um, and the overall size of your football team within the within the world, and I mm. think just Ajax domestically dominates, European wise dominates. The players that they got is arguably you could say is better than what Arsenal have had. The only thing uh, that Ralph, they beat... well, do you know what? I'll be honest with you guys. I think there's two teams in there that's questionable whether they're bigger than Arsenal, and that's Inter Milan and Ajax. I think it's questionable oh, if they're bigger. Oh, drift. No, Inter, Inter. Ajax football heritage, you know. Ajax is football yeah, Ajax through. No, I know it's their heritage, but you don't respect the league, generally speaking, in bigger conversations, do we? Don't sleep on Inter. If, Inter have got... Inter have got, have got to include teams like Celtic, who absolutely dominated their league, like... No, nah, but Holland back in the day was a big league. Plus, Ajax got bare European trophies as well, no? Nah? Yeah. I know, I know on the European front they're there, but like, I mean, Inter Milan, how many times have Inter Milan won the league? 18 times, it's I not, think. It's, 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 it it's not more than Arsenal, right? I would, to no, be I fair, think I think more. I'd have, I'd have Arsenal over Inter Milan, but I wouldn't have them over AC Milan. That'd be... No, no, AC Milan, Trump. Well, I'm wrong. Absolutely. Drifty, they've won it 19 times. Oh, shit. Okay, fair they've enough. They've won it 19 I, I, times. I do think, though, more people around the world support Arsenal than Inter Milan. They yeah. do. They do, yeah. Yeah, yeah but do you think it's down to Marseille? Like the size fan of the base. Club? Yeah, if you're talking about the size of their fan base, Arsenal's like top five. That's what oh, I'm yeah. saying. You've got to go by fan base. It's not just about I, what no, they're mean. not. They're not, Jeff. They're not top five. They're probably number six. Other than Real Madrid, Madrid, Liverpool, and Man United, who's got more fans than Arsenal? Bayern. 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 Because the most everywhere, everywhere yeah. in Germany is either even like different areas of Germany. Is, even if you just Bayern. do the country of Germany itself, which is huge. Bavaria, you Bavaria doesn't have Bayern. any other teams. I'd probably even yeah, but Arsenal's got fans in Asia, Africa. Like they, no, no, like no, no, Bayern that. Munich spread that far. Well, uh, Bayern, Bayern Munich are like one of the top merch merch sellers in like I think they're only like second or third. <laughs> so, I would have thought Arsenal would have been bigger than Bayern personally. Nah. From a fan base point of view, anyway. Sure, mate. Sure, and says it right there. Bayern are literally a national club team. That is literally the nation's team at this moment. Fair days. So, what? Barcelona, Real Madrid, Man U, Liverpool, and then 
Bayern, Bayern and then Arsenal. Uh, so Arsenal sixth then. Still pretty yeah, high up. They're buying a the top three in kick sales. Oh, shit. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with 10th place, D. There's nothing wrong with 10th place, D. No, when it comes to fan bases, Arsenal number six, I'd say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what Although I'm saying. Chelsea, Arsenal Chelsea, got a big, Chelsea have got quite a big fan base because of players like Drogba and Essie and so Africa. they got a big they, African they, fan base. Yeah, too. big African following. Mm -hmm. Look, Real Madrid are number one, and they always will be because it's just the way it is. Then you can argue it's two. I'd say Man United, United number two. Man United, United probably, Barcelona, Liverpool, Bayern Munich. I'd say that's your top five. Yeah. Then AC Milan's, Arsenal's, yeah, Juventus's, teams like that make up the rest. But that's, you know. It's a great company. I think man. Juve, because of what happened in Italy, Juve gets slept on. Their heritage is ridiculous. Juventus are the biggest team in Italy. The biggest team in yeah, Italy. Yeah, their heritage is ridiculous. Oh, also the biggest cheating team in Italy as well. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I've got to keep the same energy I keep with Man City. Like, Juve had done a madness over there, bro. Yeah, I know, Italian, but at least they've done uh, it so we know what it was. Yeah, yeah, Italian authorities don't mess about, man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Italian authorities don't mess about. They just jail you. <laughs> Yeah, for real. They actually, they actually, at least there's justice over there, isn't it? Yeah, man. Mm. I just tell you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. yeah. Arsenal will definitely a top 10 team in world football. No doubt. There's nothing Being wrong with in the top 10 is not bad, though. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with 10. You're just not third or fourth. Someone just put out, this, someone just put out Liverpool, uh, Spain's, once upon a time, Spain's midfield. Listen to this. Iniesta, Xavi, Busquets, Alonso, Fabregas, Carzola, and David Silva. And Senna. Senna. And that, that was one of their midfields in a squad once. That's, <laughs> That's stupid. Mad. It makes no sense. <laughs> this is mad. Yeah. All Thiago didn't even get into it. I'd say Carzola's the weakest out of them, but he's still a quality player. And he dominated the Prem at one stage. Yeah, mm. and he's still a quality player. That's how mad he is. Yeah. I, I'll be I'll be honest. Carzola's one of the rival players in the Prem era that I've adored the most that hasn't played for Liverpool. Yeah, he's a quality player, Carzola. Like, no he, I was so upset that he, he got the injuries he got. Because mm. he, he's a player that did. We, we, we deserve to see more Carzola. And probably the most man. ambidextrous football I've ever seen as well. Really, really talented football. Really talented. Football. Yeah, he was good. Phenomenal. Could it be something to do with Arsenal not being as well respected around the world? Why some of their legends don't get propped up the way they do? Like, you know, that like sometimes if the team you play for isn't seen in that esteem. Like Ashley Cole, for example. Like, I don't, like, is it because he was an Arsenal and a Chelsea player why people don't realise he's the best left back of all time? Like, if you played for Real Madrid, everybody would say it, wouldn't they? Yeah, but it's the, same, it's the same thing we have with when we speak about Gerard on the world stage and stuff like that. People mock it and be like, oh, he's just he's just a Liverpool legend. No, but I think most people in within football actually agree, Gerard. Even though like Zidane come at himself. Yeah, I, I think it's more a, an English thing, oh. if I'm going to be Because let's be honest, everyone puts Thierry Henry at that table and he played for Arsenal. Yeah, but for some reason, Henri's never put in the conversation when we talk about world goals, though. He's never put in there with Zidane and all them lot. Like, when does anybody ever put Henri in that conversation? That's true. Yeah, it is one. If you do had you know, a final to play tomorrow, if you had a big final to play tomorrow, do you, who do you pick? Drogba or Henri? It's got to be Didier. Yeah. Drogba for me. That's mad. That's actually mad, you know. It's got to be Didier. Drog, like, Thierry Henry is a way better footballer than Didier Drogba, but Drogba just... It's like he was just like it's like he was born for the for the big occasion, like that, that was just him. Yeah, yeah. He likes his spotlight and he, he throws it. it. Yeah. yeah that's crazy. Yeah. But that's I, I just I feel, you know, sometimes it could be who you play for, why you don't necessarily get that like adulation like some others do. <laughs> oh, <man>. <laughs> 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 You say it's your turn. I'll put it out there. I'll put it out there. It's just mad that Drogba in finals just came alive, didn't he? He did. He did. It's just madness. 
It is actually, it is crazy to think that Henri's never scored in a final before, isn't it? That is actually crazy when you think about it. Right, can you say hello then? You that's, just said you wouldn't that's say hello. Actually, man. All right, say it then. They can't see you there, though. <laughs> <laughs> they can't, you can see them, but they can't see you. You want to say hello? Basically, he's threatening one word for you and he's unsubscribing as well, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Lee, Lee no, I ain't afraid of him. Come on. <laughs> I was going to say, Beijing and Lee go back and forth the most out of all of us. Hey, Lee, Lee, get your facts right, because I, score, I swear he scored an open play goal against Brentford, so that's not even true. Get your facts right before you come up with nonsense. No, honestly, uh, is Saka is Saka and Gabriel actually injured? Because I've heard they might no. have some Manchester game. They're not. No, of course they're not. Yeah, Jamie, that's the biggest lag going around you in the international break, bro. Yeah. But isn't Gabriel, it weird though how how Arsenal and Man City are pulling their big players out of the international duty, and it's just going to be so casual when they play in a week, and we realise it was all a lie. Like they just, they're, they're just, Man City they're been just, doing this forever. Man City been doing this forever, though. I mean, that guy's Darwin hasn't gone, Salah hasn't gone, Endo's come back. Um, but Salah, was Endo. Endo, Salah and Endo were legit. Salah was discussed previously. Endo is to do with something to do with one of the countries. I think, I don't know if I think it might have been Hong Kong. Hmm. Um, yeah, the Darwin one could be the only one where we've played it a bit cheeky, potentially. Haaland came so, back too, right? Didn't he? I, I didn't know that Darwin didn't go. Oh, so, fair. It's, uh, so for what it says, Cal, is apparently unavoidable circumstances in North Korea. Oh, yeah, yeah, so no. they can't play the game. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a fair point. Man United did do that it for is. 25 years. <laughs> Look, yeah. you know what? I know we I know we have to give Man United credit and Fergie credit, but I'm I think we always think. just... We, we, we forget how many brown envelopes went around in the 90s and the noughties. We really forget it. Like we just act like they way. weren't just blatantly cheating in our faces, and there's nothing we could do about it. That but, Man yeah. United Arsenal game where Arsenal where it stopped their Arsenal invincible invincible run is one of the most corrupt games I've seen in my entire. Oh run. my god, that was bad. Yeah, Gary Neville should have been sent off 18 times in that game alone. <laughs> <laughs> let's not let's not forget Van Nistelrooy should have been sent off as well. Yeah, Rooney dived for the penalty. Like it yeah. is one of the most corrupt games I've seen. Which is worse, that life. or uh, Chelsea versus Barca? That one, that was worse than Chelsea versus. Yeah, Barca. the Man U Arsenal one. Yeah, the Man U Arsenal. Liverpool one. versus Tottenham was worse than Chelsea versus Barca. Yeah. I don't know. Chelsea versus Barca was bad, Kyle. We had bad. a legitimate goal disallowed with the power of VAR, bro. That's about as corrupt. <laughs> I've, I've rewatched the, re the game. PK should have been sent off. Abidal should have been sent off. Yaya Toro ended up being sent off later than expected. They should have about three penalties. <laughs> and one of them was a blatant one in front of the ref where Eto stuck his arm out to block the shot. That, you want that was you want the most was crazy. It was you crazy. want the most corrupt game of all time? Go back to Liverpool versus Inter Milan in the sixties. And oh, that second did. leg. Yeah, have you wrote, not read the story? Read the story about Liverpool versus Inter Milan in the sixties with Real Shankly's uh, manager. It's the most corrupt game of all time. Oh uh, yeah, I, I haven't even heard of that. Madness. We have been screwed That's over a lot. We've been screwed over a lot. Just, even just on the clock, we've been screwed over a lot. Hmm. Well, it is what it is. Mm. Should we wrap up with the with these last yeah. supers? Yeah, let's do it. Right, this has been this has been an amazing um watch along though. Bigger everyone who's been watching. Fun, this man. was fun. Yeah. It's a fun, fun day, man. Big up you, man, for jumping in as well, man. Um, I was thinking we might have to just make this a panel show. Period. Forget watch along. This was hilarious. Um, honestly, I'm happy for Ericsson. Yeah, and nah. as Jamie said when they were walking out, if you don't have like a, a tear in your eye, whether it's literally or not, seeing this situation for Ericsson, then you're not a human. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was that was amazing, man. It get, knowing what we know about how long he's got left is 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 upsetting enough, but it was amazing to see him live out a dream today. Can you, imagine, can you imagine his dad watching that as well? You know, the emotion. Yeah, they're saying a year. Said it's, it's gonna be less for sure. That thing takes you real quick. 
real quick. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Sad. Sad, man. It's very sad. He said his dad never misses any games ever. He said he's, he's 94 years old. He's never missed a game ever. So that just shows you how big of a Liverpool fan his dad is as well. So um, Herb's man said, it seems uh, not only the current team like to come from behind in games, but the legends do too. Big up, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Something about what someone said to you in the thing as well. He said, Babel lost the first half 2 0 and the second half 4 <laughs> 0. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Shout out, Ryan. Uh, honesty uh, says, big up the man name. Have you guys heard K. This against J. Cole and Drake? Uh, he said, F the big free, it's free. just big me. It's, um, so, Ken, I, have you heard, oh, sorry, have you heard the verse? I don't even Lovely. know who them people are. So, Ken, <laughs> Kendrick Lamar's a rapper, Jay, and oh, him, Drake, and J. Cole are seen as this era's like best free rappers. Yeah. And he's basically said, it's not a big free, it's just I'm the best. Uh, I, I wouldn't even class Drake as a rapper like that. Man. Who's Drake? I don't know who these people are. You know who Drake is, Jay? No, man. I listen no, to Jamie's trolling. He's definitely no, not. I, li- I, I, I don't listen to I listen to 80s music, man. I listen to that's, ACDC, Guns N' Roses, <laughs> Iron Maiden. This is, you know, that's my... I've heard this. of Drake before. That's my I'll music, this. man. He's, he, this, he's, yeah. from, he's from Toronto. He's from Canada. He's a big... I don't even like the new hip hop anyway, so I stick to the nineties. Yeah. That's I'll where see, I'll say this: was. the best. The uh, this is my unpopular opinion. Get rich or die trying is the greatest album to ever be produced mm, nah, in, rap, in rap. Fifty music. Cent. Yeah, nah, nah, there's no, not ten. one bad song in that in that album. I can cuss. Rams, go and listen to Illmatic. Yeah, even Good Kid, Mad City. I've put ahead of Get Rich. Nas. Or die Nas has pro- had probably one of the best albums of all time. I have it's doggy maybe style, my, guys. my age is showing Blue, right now. Blueprint, Blueprint as well. Blueprint was good one too. Uh, I've listened to Blueprint. I, I think I'll put I'll put Get Rich or Die Trying above Blueprint. I think Get Rich I, or Die Trying has more catchy song, but Blueprint for me has got more substance. I haven't purchased a song since 1993. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> That's mad. I don't really listen to music that much. I do. I've got my. Uh, I've got a weird taste. Man. I like, you know, Guns N' Roses is my favourite ever band. I like Aerosmith, ACDC, all them sort of bands from the eighties, uh, 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 and some seventies bands and stuff like that. And then I like a bit of like, and then I like, I like things like Lionel Richie and Michael Jackson and no, all that era no. as well, man. So I like all that do stuff, you, man. All that stuff. Do you, do you know what? Yeah, what I find quite strange, and I think it may be a lot to do with like modern culture and how we're just so quick to just move on. I know Drake's done a lot of commercial stuff, and it is a little bit silly now how like he kind of just does the stuff to be current and stuff like that. I, I get that he is a bit like weird with that stuff. So I totally understand why people kind of go off him a bit in that regard. But Drake is a GOAT. And I'm not having anybody say he's not. Like I, I don't care what anyone wants to say. Like when we're talking about real hip hop. When Drake wants to do real hip hop, and if you look at what he has done in the past, it's he's a goat. But when, so, when he first came goat, through, when what? he first came through, he was he, his, his music was fire. It's so easy yeah. to attack him. You know what I mean? It's so no, easy to guard. Goes, Drake, where, where does he stand in the list? Then? He he's don't get he's in my he's not top five. I don't even know top if you ten. mentioned top ten drift. In my hip hop top. If we talk about if we talk about real hip hop and take the commercial side out of it, I don't know if he makes top ten. Yeah, I don't think he made it. No, but you can't take commercial when it's commercial proper hip hop, like you know, you, start from the bottom and all that kind of stuff. When he went yeah, com- commercial, but it's still hip hop. When you talk about commercial, I don't even, I don't even think it wasn't even in the hip hop arena. He's gone more towards the popular side of things. He's gone to more popular, and that's the yeah, reason why people are like finding it easier to just brush him now and stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? But like, anyway. I'm just saying, Drake is a goat, man. There's, there's no way about it. But, um, yeah, that's another conversation for another time. Hmm. Uh, big up, um, El Rodri with a super sticker. Big up yourself, bro. Um, John says, I would manage Everton and get them relegated. <laughs> John, I don't know if they'd keep you on long enough, bro. They'd get rid of you before you end, before you went down, bro. 
when they find out the details that he was a Liverpool fan, just immediately get rid. Do you know what I mean? Um, Jamrock says, J. Cole ain't the one uh, K. Dot wants to face on Wax ever. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. I have no idea who he's chatting about. <laughs> J. I, J. Even, Cole. I, I have Cole. no idea who these people are. I thought that was Joe Cole, the former West Ham. But <laughs> <laughs> well, people, people call... People call Kendrick Malar, Kendrick Malar, Kendrick Lamar, K Dot. I do not know that. I just call him yeah, Kendrick. Yeah. Hang on, it's Kendrick Lamar the one that went out of Kanda- Kardashian. No, that's Kanye. No, that's Kanye. Yeah, I have no idea. I know the no, I know no. who they're oh. talking about, but I don't yeah. know their music because I don't listen uh, to I don't know music. today's pop culture, man. Don't. I'm not I'm not with today's pop culture. Uh, and this one here from um, from uh, Lee that's asked, uh, take away the numbers, who is the better left-sided player, Perez, Giggs or Sadio? All, if they're all at their peak, I'm going Mane. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I agree. If all Mane was peak, a better version of Perez. Perez was brilliant, though. Look, I know, no, I know Lee's going to... No, but Perez was different. brilliant, but Mane was, Mane was better. Like P- Perez, I think people sleep on what Perez was. I'm still going Mane in his peak, but Perez. Oh, good I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm the opposite. I think Perez is overrated. Oh, I hate yeah, saying I hate saying this, but Ryan Giggs was a hell of a player. No, oh, he, he was, was absolutely. He was. He was a hell of a player. Nine, and the longevity was... as well. The long, the longevity is mad. I mean, do you not think Giggs could play in this era? Oh, Absolutely. Like, to be fair, uh, right winger. Drift, Giggs in this era is a right winger with Cook. Drift, Drift. I've seen I the clips probably, of oh, His finishing was shocking. I would it probably have Ryan Giggs. Giggs. No. I would probably have lot Ryan Giggs' as longevity as well. If I oh, was Giggs is Drift, 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 Drift. 90s is, was a bit of a problem, Drift. No, he, he was. A bit Giggs, of a problem. Giggs is a right winger in today's game, Drift. <sighs> Cutting inside to do what, Cal? Score no, goals, no. assist. Oh, Shoot, man! And oh, like, if you were gonna really? play, if you were gonna play gigs, you have to play him as a left winger. But like one no, of them, he could do one. both. Nah, gigs was creative. Left, he was not a right. finisher. Right. Now. Gigs could, we, could we not really finish. Like gigs didn't have a right foot at all. Couldn't do anything. Yeah. With, with I wouldn't want to play right him on the right, though, Cal. I, I would say left. this is how I'd break it down. I'd actually say Perez is technically the better footballer mm. out of all three, but yeah. Mane is the most exciting. Amani's got everything in it. He, he yeah. scores crazy goals, dribbling. He's the most exciting, pain. but I say Perez is technically the better out of all three. Yeah, right, that's how I put it. Harry Kill, Harry Kill over Giggs, I can hear, but one thing Harry Kill had that's over Giggs was his shooting. Because Harry Kill could yeah. smack him for distance. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's it. But dribbling wise, I'm taking Giggs. I think people <laughs> sleep on Giggs because of the character. Harry Giggs, no. Do we give Giggs a little bit of credit for keeping that affair so quiet for so long? Anyone know him? <laughs> <laughs> for being in the public eye. You know, no, it's, it's actually crazy. crazy. <laughs> it's yeah. actually crazy how he did that. Do you know how much of a skill that is? How do you keep that going? Seven years, man. Do you know what? I've always been somebody who says God gives you what you can handle, yeah? No, I couldn't handle that. Jamie, I'm not going to lie, bro. I think God's saving you from being a demon. That's why he's not blessed you with those riches, bro. I could not <laughs> imagine what you could be like if you were as well. Bro. Oh, my God. Uh, it's just mad, bro. It? It's just that like, Harry did it. <laughs> <laughs> he should the man. The man shouldn't have got I away with like, it. The I man should have like, by his bollocks somewhere. Jay, Jamie will be moving much. like Ted DiBiase right now. Ted DiBiase senior. You guys have yeah, that would definitely be Jamie. Money, money, money. You watch me do MMA shows. Like this is normal, Jamie. Like yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> this is normal, Jamie. This is Jamie. Like <laughs> this is dark Jamie. I don't know. Yeah, going to lead that right. John Terry one was a mad right. one. Too. Uh, John Terry was wild. That was. Wow, and then no, no, still, no, still expected the handshake as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, guys, I don't funny. think I, if, 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 take away the racism part from John Terry and just talk about the, the affair situation. Giggs is worse, it's his brother, man. Yeah, like, yeah, your oh, no, boy no, that's worse, yeah, that's worse. Giggs, yeah, Giggs, brother. Yeah. It's your brother, man. Seven years, it's your brother. seven years. Yeah, that's nah, that's insane. This is brother. 
that's just that's just mad man she went home after every training session back to the husband like nothing happened mad she yeah. must man, have that's... spare knickers in her handbag like going home i've got a bounce guy <laughs> me having me on the <laughs> 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 Bit of a breeze as well, just so there's no yeah. scent. You know? <laughs> oh my god! Oh my days! Oh man! Years, man. No, do you know what? what? Do you know what a scumbag is? is? No, it's the worst. It's actually the worst. It's a, that's a scumbag. That's a scumbag, and you got away with it. Biggs is right here, though. Goats don't have ghost writers. Uh, and album wise lyrics, he's just an actor with made privilege. He's got a Biggs has got a point in there. You can't be a you can't have a ghostwriter and say you're one of the best best. Well, that's why all my goats write their own music, Cal. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, there's a lot of rumors about the ghostwriting stuff, so we can't we we can't just go off of that. And secondly, there's a lot of people who have ghostwriters that people don't even know they do. It's just a it's just kept quiet more. So we won't go down that road. We won't go down that road. Because if I said to you lot right now, who's the best? If I said to you lot, who's the best female rapper of all time? Whoever you name's got a ghostwriter. Female. So like, no. you know, well, if you lot want to see an example of, of ghostwriting, go and look at Nicki Minaj before and after she lost Safari, and look at the difference. Because Lauren, when she Lauren was good, has, Lauren Hill ain't got a ghostwriter. I know, but Lauren Hill is kind of more r b than rap in it like if you're putting her in a category you don't really put her in yeah, a I'm rap category right now, Lauren Hill is famous for copying a song that weren't hers and made a big one to go play out there what the eve, Marley song. eve don't have yeah. no ghost writer by eve by the culture yeah no but eve's not one of the goats though is she oh bro she she's is good she's, but she's eve very good he would write no. lyrics around these lot nowadays 100 percent easily yeah yeah but would Queen you put her in the top? Here's two. another one. The brat, the brat as well. The brat, that she's another one. Mm, female artists. We going down this road. Yeah, the brat. <laughs> I'll give you the brat. <laughs> they they what, just weren't given the like the the notoriety they are given now. Like, yeah. What about Queen Latifah? Drift. Now Queen Latifah was good, but my top five would actually no tell a lie. Ra What's Digger used brown? to write. Queen Latifah. And she's in my top five. Foxy Brown, yeah. Lil Kim. No, but yeah, Foxy didn't write her lyrics, though. Lil Kim Who's didn't that? write her lyrics. There is one what, woman rapper I know. I can't remember her name now, but she's always looked old. <laughs> Female I rapper? Can't remember, I can't remember what her name is. She's always looked old. I can't remember what her name is. She was big in the early 2000s. Missy? Missy Elliott, is it? Is that her name? Yeah, Missy Elliott. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's the only one I know. Man. Missy had both yeah. writers, though. I heard She's about Missy then. Right. A mix. I right, look anyway. Um, all right, we've got MC one more. Light. That's a good one. Oh no, you just you did that one, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So. Well, this one has been legendary. Yeah, I this over a, over a thousand of you still in there. Liverpool legends won for Ericsson. That was the main thing. Um, I've got a feeling I'm not being invited back. But yeah, it's been amazing, people. It's I've been amazing. That. Guys, make sure you very, got very Asian Barnes yeah. channel, Bayesian Reds TV, Jamie Phillips football chats, and Ram still not. Ram needs to start his YouTube channel up as well, properly, man. I don't know what yeah, he's, he's waiting. everywhere and everywhere. Aren't yeah, he, he needs to start his YouTube channel up. But the Ram stand, we'll still go and support the Ram stand anyway. Yeah, and definitely. Then that I said, bang on the money. I'm not going to bring it up because we'll get in trouble. We are so bang on the money. So look at ZK's comments. It's, it's just perfect. It's just literally yeah, yeah, yeah. perfect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, 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 hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, if I, if, I sing, if I sing the lyrics they sing about, I'll be in prison. Yeah. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. They just get away with it, man, because they, they, they bend over and twerk that thing. Yeah. Ever since, Naldo, ever since, ever since. I did it a long time ago. You missed it out. You missed out. I paid for my crimes on that one. 
<laughs> now I don't, don't let you forget, bro. Trust me. <laughs> now now one of those guys he won't let you forget. <laughs> we got now though. He told me accountable a few times. <laughs> I know from experience. Now though, I had to, man. Drifty was so mad at me. Oh my days. Oh. Imagine yeah, you, said you, know, word, bro, you said the words clop out. I didn't even say the words clop out. I was never clop out, and you know, oh. like my roof. Almost I'm going to go on and in a minute. I'm going to get Sky Cole person. <laughs> <laughs> like, Jake, you'll be, you'll be pleasantly surprised, Jamie. J. Cole is good, man. Yeah, he's really good. Really yeah, he's... He's, he's, <laughs> <laughs> he's my favourite current rapper. He's my favourite current rapper. Go and find it. I'll go and find it. I've got to yeah. check it out. Before we sign off, people, make sure you go and subscribe to the channels and just a word from our sponsors. If we don't see you again until Monday, have a phenomenal rest of the weekend. Stay safe, stay blessed. We are Coppish, Jamie Phillips Football Chats, and at Beige and Reds TV. We're out, people. Take care. Peace. We're delighted to tell you about one of our newest sponsors at SofaScore. That's right, we've partnered up with the highest rated live score app on Google Play Store and the App Store, so you can access all your football needs at your fingertips. You get live scores and notifications straight to your phone. You can also follow your favourite competition from a choice of 600, yes I said it, 600 tournaments from across the globe. Plus, if you get fed up of us discussing player ratings, you get real time sofa score ratings for each player. Not to mention heat maps, you can see where players really affecting the game. Shot maps, where are they taking shots from, where is Nunes going to score from next, attack momentum and a player's average position. Pause, pause. Follow your favorite players and look through the archives at different historical data as well. People, what are you waiting for? Click the link in the description and download the SofaScore app or use the QR code on the screen that you'll see now and you'll be entered to a prize draw to win a Liverpool shirt of your choice. Once you've downloaded the app, send us a screenshot on social media or to our email, which is teamcoppish at gmail.com. Don't delay. Download the SofaScore app today.